back to Collider Live, the best show on the damn YouTubes. I'm Roxy Stryer, across from me, the evilest of them all, with the best hair in the world, Arena. Really? Yeah. Good hair today? I didn't even do my hair today. Should I never do it? Is that what's going on? I hope you go to hell in the best way. I'm kidding, I did do it. Though. Wow. <laughs> when I say go to hell, is that a compliment for you? Sure. We're all going to hell, Roxy. <laughs> We're all in hell already. Happy Monday, everyone. Happy hey. Monday, Mark Riley. Hi, everybody. Happy to be here. Happy Monday. And happy to be sitting next to Winston Marshall. Yay! Yay! Thank you for having me. Also, I would actually throw my hat in the ring for best hair. I had a schmode out fan at the spectacular be like, you know, I've never been gay, but I saw your hair up a particular way, and all of a sudden I was like, maybe I am. Ah, Wait, so. that's so good funny. For you. That's, uh, that means almost, you have fantastic hair. Oh, yes, you. you do. You, you do have fantastic hair, but I had the opposite happen to me, <laughs> where I was told multiple times this week that I could make straight men gay. So we're kind of on the like, fu- different sides of that awful. fence oh, right God. now. Go back a, a second there. Who? You- you could also make Why? straight women Ow. gay. Roxy. Thank you so I don't, I don't, much. I don't, I don't see that as a thing, so I want to get to... Who said that? Oh, I, 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 somebody also uh, messaged me, it, and I put it on my Instagram story, because have you guys seen that? I've been doing that recently. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take yeah. back the out. power. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I kind, of, kind of fun. I like what That's what's up. Yeah. We were together this weekend. We had quite the long day, long mm-hmm. weekend. It was really fun. Schmodown, spectacular. Darina was... Sick, I know. I'm so I'm so sad. Everybody was sick. It's like, where are you? I'm like in bed. Uh, sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost lost my voice last week. It was a whole thing. But I heard it was amazing. Yeah. I'm assuming you so guys had an fun. amazing I, time. I think that who probably wishes they were in bed because they were working their butts off. Cody and Alex. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crushing that was like it like a as 10, always. Guys. 11 hour day. Oh Oof, my god. god. I Oof. offered Cody a shot at tequila at the end, and you could just see how bad he wanted to internally, but was like, and now I got to get home and be a Dad. Yeah. I oh, really I know. It. He turned it down. I know uh, you poor thing. Cody. I tried to turn that down. That was that was when the evening took a turn for me. Thank you for that. The Roxy that, tequila th- shot. That turn? tequila <laughs> shot. I said, no, 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 yeah. I can't really it's have an some. And, train. You're, and you you really did. You said, so when you say no, you mean yes, and you put it in front. I was like, holy shit. I, I mean, gotta, that's I making me to, sound like a creep. Why yeah, no, you? you were you were set on the on giving me a tequila shot, so I appreciate hey, man, that, Roxy. Good friend. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Oh, so what was your, without spoiling anything, what was your guys' favorite moment at the Schmodown this weekend? Oh, God. Uh, Okay, the part that it's not a it's not a match spoiler, but I guess it's a moment spoiler, so I just won't say. But like it happened about midway through the spectacular. That's what I'll say. Okay. I guess that like it, it gave me a Bulls uh, Michael Jordan flu vibes. That's what I'll say and leave it at that. Ooh. Okay, mm. okay. Singing your tongue what about out. You? Mm, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. Um, towards the end of the night, I think it was one of my favorites. But uh, I'll say meeting the fans over at the expo that was really mm. fun, and and how many people were just so kind, so wonderful, um, and uh, so many nice things to say, pictures. Having conversations with everybody was so much fun. As a, a fan of the league, there's a pretty dope manager reveal. I won't say who or yeah. what or how, but yeah. that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the manager reveal, uh, the one, the one that the, when I was on stage uh, with Jay and Coy, that was mm. that was that was. Funny. Yeah, there's an, a <laughs> there was a, a lot of fun things that took place. Uh, as always, very dramatic day. Mm-hmm. It was a very dramatic. Uh, I had to smoke. A lot of weed towards the end. Really? Oh, Where you, did? you just it, theoretically. <laughs> theoretically. Theoretically. <laughs> She's so scary. High. Okay. All right. Taj and Taj and Tall Buckman. <laughs> Tall. <laughs> I mean, once they, once it all kind of lifts, maybe we can go a little deeper on it. But well, I mean, when is that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do you mean the haze of the weed, or do you mean the embargo? I, I embargo. The haze, haze on the, the weed, on the weed is, still is here this morning. Is, for is that your discretion? Right? Yeah. That's I mean, you, well, it, it's legal rec weed out here, so that's sure. fine. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's yeah. legal. Yeah. It is legal. It's it become yeah. illegal. It should be legal everywhere. I do what I want. How I get yeah. to sleep. The only time it Same. wasn't legal. It's like gives me less anxiety, man. I guess was when theoretically. Uh, there's a different word for that, right? Not theoretically. What is it? I don't know. Uh, Metaphor? Where are you no. going? When you say, like, if I did this, you know, 
No, no, hypothetically, 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 whoa, Monday, I'm your bitch, Monday, you got me, Writing's good. hypothetically, uh, in San Diego Comic-Con, if I was smoking in the church that we were performing in, and hypothetically got the person behind me kicked out for smoking because they saw me doing it and thought it was okay, hypothetically, that would be not fully right hypothetically you also may have not known it was a church so there's that yeah there you go Boy, I that didn't one was know fun. I plead the hypothetically fifth? or theoretically Meta- whichever one you want metaphorically was it like actually a church or is this just like a no. symbolism for there no. were too many kids around so it didn't no, look like a church when we were in church okay. Okay. it was but I didn't know <laughs> it looked like a regular auditorium okay didn't know. All right. yeah church auditoriums have really good acoustics I mean I, I also right. was inside and I didn't melt so I okay <laughs> but that's, oh. well then, yeah. then right, maybe right. You, Maybe, well, maybe. I already said go to hell, so maybe you were there by soul. That's and then true. Your spirit and then was maybe somehow. it really was just metaphorically a church. If you didn't burst into flames, like you yeah. said, like it, it was yeah. just, you know, they just put a cross on the outside to make you think it was a church, That's but true. you were good, you know? I got to ask you guys a question about something, though, because uh-huh. this is, again, with all of my ignorant questions, this is, might be the most because I just should probably Google it, but. Okay, let me strap in. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Strap in. <laughs> <laughs> is vaping legit bad for me? Okay. I mean, the news says it is, the but news the news says a lot of things. Yeah, so. I think there are certain things uh, that they put in, but that that the, the vapes, if you're not getting it at a trusted retailer, maybe you got to look out. So no, I'm going to like legit. I'm going to legal stores, rec right. stores, okay. and and purchasing vapes. But then all these people are telling me like, uh oh, uh oh, so the vapes. it's. It's. I mean, the stuff that's in our food is probably we don't know. the same, right? Well, it's, I think it's, they, it's. I think there's still yeah, research exactly. happening. Right, right. Well, that's the thing is they're still trying to figure that out. If you're getting some kind of offhand stuff, because people will do that so they can get it for cheaper. Yeah. And then just like anything else, if you're overdoing it, because technically all of it's poison. So if you, the problem right. is a lot of vapors are smoking infinitely more than they were cigarettes or like no, but I'm not or anything vaping like that. tobacco. You're talking about you're talking about like uh, vape like, like weed vape. Yeah. Yeah. See. Same same thing. It just depends if you're smoking way too much. Sure, but like you're you tobacco vape. Yeah, I quit it all. I quit the oh, because now vape. you you gum chew. Yeah, I do the gum. Uh, yeah, that vape, the tobacco vape. I was to your point, dude. Oh. That that just you kept just going it because you could just you could just boop. do it, and so it started to get out of control. So I dropped it. Uh, and what do we got? I People did. in the comments are saying vaping is safe as long as you're not getting. Cheap street stuff, according to is. Jake Robles. Right. And then other people are saying, trust your grower. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so, this... which that's fair point. This, this is, uh, you guys know, I did a series for Leafly called The Art of Extraction. I thought I was like, all oh, knew everything about extracts and vaping and whatever. But the truth is, I really only know about the specific places I've been to. Like, sure. There's so many facilities right. now right, 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 that could right, all right, be right. doing whatever the hell they want. And I, well, not anymore, right? That's the they thing get, about most places now is that they are no, getting they have make, to be. make sure mm-hmm. that everything is regulated. So yeah. I just don't know when it comes to the technology of it. It's right? kind of like, right. though, remember when all of our friends started taking a ton of Adderall? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go with the Four loco example. Yeah. Wasn't nothing wrong with Four loco, which was, what, eight beers and ten cups of coffee in a can? This yeah. is like, yeah, When yeah, you that had was a 19-year-old go, I'm going to have five of those a day. And yeah. then he had a heart attack and died. So. Well, I was going to say, is, is this like a college thing? Because that's when mm. I moved to the States was for mm-hmm. college. And everyone was taking all kinds of weird, uh, like drinking weird things oh, and loco also eating. Eat, Eating Adderall or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. You do yeah. technically eat it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. To your yeah. point, Rox, yes, I do remember that. Especially at USC, yeah. fellow Trojan, there was a time when I'm like, whoa, Everyone, a lot of Adderall around here. Y'all went to USC? Yeah, yeah oh, fight sh- on. Everyone was eating a ton of Adderall. Yeah. And I just, just kept thinking to myself, like, we keep introducing things that have not been around that long, and then we keep taking it. Consuming in, it. In, like, in abundance, and then we keep wondering why people get more diseases, not less. Mm. I, I don't That's, know. That is, I mean, USA, abundance. <laughs> yeah. USA. <laughs> it's like what United we're States all Adderall, about. girl. That's, yeah. that's mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know why. But I just, none of that stuff ma- makes me feel good, so I never did it. None of what stuff? And taking any Adderall. of that stuff. The vape pens? No, the Adderall. Adderall. Yeah, yeah. No, at. Adderall, has, mm, uh, theoretically, <laughs> hypothetically, <laughs> hypothetically, if I've ever uh, taken it, I would metaphorically. say metaphorically. Metaphorically speaking, Adderall w- would help you with your studies. Right, right. 
Like that, it wouldn't be like I'm gonna take this to feel really good. It would be like I've got to jam out all these. I gotta papers. be up. Yeah. Let me get focused here. Okay, but someone told me isn't Adderall essentially just prescription speed? Mm-hmm. Isn't that kind yeah. of what what yeah. happened to, to like what Carlton and uh, uh, God, what's her name from Saved by the Bell? Jesse Spino. Jesse. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so scared. scared. <laughs> <laughs> Classic episode. That is my favorite. I'm so scared. That was some acting. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Always. Speaking of being scared, (gasps) that Ghostbusters trailer! Right. I've, done. I've that was been good. told that when I call out my transitions, they're not as smooth. Yeah. But Th- that was I don't pretty smooth. care. That was, <laughs> awesome. that, was, no, that was smooth. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. Ghostbusters, guys, because that trailer dropped this morning. I didn't know this was coming. Me either. I didn't either. Okay. It was no just idea. it was just thrown at us. I don't yeah. know anymore. Are all trailers pre-announced yeah, at this point? Because uh, the Wonder Woman one was pre-announced, and this one wasn't. And I was like, oh, nobody told me yeah, this was yeah. dropping this morning. Uh, yeah, kind yeah. of a wild trailer in a yeah. very spooky tone. Very unexpected tone. Yeah. Very little Stranger Things, sure. I, I've, I've seen Slimer's that. Slimer's my favorite. It's like you can't even talk about <laughs> it. it goes, okay. What? <laughs> when this plays, I can't even, I can't do anything but dance. I know, I fucking love it. But this was so, not the tone of the trailer at all. The trailer no. w- went spooky dookie. Yeah, it felt Spooked. It felt like... Uh, it Jesus, I forgot about your catchphrases, man. <laughs> <laughs> if something can did rhyme, miss her, spooky though. Dookie. I did miss her. If I something can rhyme, oh. I rhyme it. Mm-hmm. That's the rule. Well, I, I understand. I understand. You're like you're like a, a, a pastor at a church trying to connect with the youths by doing the hip hop and the and the Word. and the raps. Yo, yeah. when we have my the name same, is you Roxy, know? and I'm here to say <laughs> Spooky Dookie Ghostbusters in a major way. Like, yeah, <laughs> I love that. Fire. Yeah. That was, I know it was. Yes, it was. That was, that was the was standard actual. white yeah. people yeah. rap. Yeah. She that dropped that was. fat beat. Literally, my brother. Fire. Roxy's new theme song that you, you just, just came up with. Top fire. <laughs> Dialogue, She's going to add it to her Twitter bio now. Oh, wow. It's no. wonderful. Well done, Wendy. I also, I also like <laughs> starting with done? the here to say thing. <clears throat> it's a good It's a good little... That, 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 yeah. mm-hmm. But anyway, so back to Ghostbusters, guys. Jeez. Uh, Please. Please. You, this Thanks. Did you guys feel like... This is how I felt. I was like, wait, this is completely not the tone of the original. And at mm. first I was like, that's weird, but also not a problem. Maybe it's good that it's different. But it kind of felt like Super 8 meets Stranger Things a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Which, For sure. Well, well, literally Stranger Things. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 everywhere. Yeah. Well, I mean, also, you know, Finn. But um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I thought, I mean, the whole Egon, like, homage... Uh, like the door mm-hmm. that was pretty cool mm-hmm. but I don't know I, I'm excited I, I think it's weird I don't know if they're gonna go with more like family uh, oriented which kind of scares me a little bit I'm like I hope it still keeps like the Venkman uh, type humor did in there did it feel more family oriented yes, to you this trailer did it did but that's just you know me I I like the rated R stuff so what right. did you what, how did you feel Mark as a fellow uh, Ghostbusters nerd yeah I, I absolutely adored it oh you did yeah I, it was something about it, it's almost like they knew that we're gonna we're gonna get you in the nostalgia feels with this one right. we're gonna set it up this way and I think that we're gonna as it starts to unfold and we see more footage from this and especially see the movie I think we're gonna probably get more of that Ghostbusters vibe mm-hmm. because it, towards the end of that trailer it started to get a little bit Ghostbusty yeah, yeah. right it mm. started to feel that way Ghostbusty so, Ghostbusty yeah. so I because I, it's a must see it is this is a must see for me <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. You just it wasn't my those. worst. No, no, I know, but this is gonna happen all morning, isn't it? Yes, yes. yes. and good I want morning. you to call her good out morning. every single time. We've missed you here on Collider Live, I dude. So I, I, I need you to call it out every time. Every time. How, how are you feeling about the trailer? Um, I mean, it's good. I always like kind of like Ghostbusters. It wasn't like my top franchise for me. It was Ninja Turtles, like nonstop all day. Yes. Every day. So, but I, I, I still, I mean. You can't beat uh, uh, Paul Rudd in anything, so mm-hmm. that'll be fun. Was that why he was on SNL, or does he have something out right now? And I just don't remember. I don't know. He Living like, with yourself. Uh, yeah, Netflix but it's been, show. Netflix show, been out yeah. for like what two months? I don't think it did as well as they mm-hmm. wanted it to. Which maybe sucks. no. It's a I, good show. Yeah, it's re- it was an excellent show. Yeah. I, I don't actually know why he was. Hmm. Uh, I'm with you that he to me makes things. Yeah. He if he's in a project, I want to see it more. Right. Ten out of ten times. I liked I liked how seriously he was taking this role. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't know if that's throughout the entire movie, but it seemed like he was. 
pretty deadpan through I, a lot of that. I feel like it, you. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh no, no, I was just going to ask Roxy as like not like a huge Ghostbusters nerd like us. Like, would do you, do you have any interest in watching this movie, watching the trailer? Yeah, I guess because. <laughs> because <laughs> yes. <laughs> well mostly, done, trailer. Mostly because I'm not going to not see it. Right. So sure. the trailer. But that's because it's your job, though, to right. see them. The trailer didn't push me towards it. It lacked humor in a way that uh, disappointed me slightly. I won't lie. Yeah. I thought that this was going to be a little campier. Yeah. That it was going to be a little more upbeat, a little more fun, uh, a little less. We're competing in the actual horror genre right now. Right. Mm-hmm. But it's one trailer. Exactly. So maybe they were just trying to shake things up, jar us a little bit. That worked. And I'm interested in the move to a different city storyline. I'm interested in the we found grandpa's old stuff storyline. Mm, sure. St- it's the stance, yeah. right? Is that the, the, the family? That's what I was wondering. I was just going to put it to you, Ghostbusters nerd. Is it the stance or is it Egon? I don't know. I feel like it's Egon. Well, I mean, I'm that would sure. make sense because he's the one that we don't have. Right. Right. Because so. right. they kind of alluded to, you know, obviously grandpa and all these things. But, you know. It felt like the passing of Grandpa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why they're there. And, who you know, we know that Bill Murray's in it. Dan Aykroyd's in it. Sigourney Weaver's in it. We can't have uh, Harold Ramis. So it, I feel like it's going to be uh, Grandpa Egon. That makes sense. I, I also just appreciate, just back to the whole Paul Rudd thing, I mean, obviously you're going to have Aykroyd and, and Murray, but, like, I remember, like, that was peak Bill Murray when that movie came out. So mm-hmm. to have Paul Rudd, who really is, is kind of, like, hitting, like, his – fever pitch right now. I mean, he's he's obviously been a little bigger at one point, but he's still hot right now. I feel like it's good to have a comedic giant like that in this movie for sure. Like, And he is taking it seriously, but I'm sure he'll be Paul Rudd. Yeah, no, you're right, because the reason, one of the biggest reasons why I love the original Ghostbusters so much is the chemistry between the the main guys, right? Like, Like how they joke with each other all the time. Like, that's what I sort I, I missed in this trailer so I hope it's somehow there I don't know oh. how they're gonna do yeah. it but yeah uh, just a side note you said peak Bill Murray I don't know if Bill Murray's ever valid to me right? he, just <laughs> stays, he stays peaked yeah and I, I don't think that there's ever a, a decade a year of a Bill Murray version where I'm feeling anything other than he's at the top of his game <laughs> to, to your point too peak I mean, Bill Murray like Ghostbusters and then all of a sudden you get Lost in Translation, Rushmore. My God. I mean, he went above and beyond. Yeah. And, and, and of course, point, Roxy, and, and you skipped going. over the whole 90s. Groundhog say, Day. Groundhog like, Day, let's talk correct. About, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I was going to say for half a second, I was like, so you're saying he stayed peak, except you skipped 20 years before you mentioned another <laughs> <laughs> Right, right, right. But I, I go to when he reinvented his career with Fair. Lost in Translation. Fair. yes. Where it all of a sudden you're like... He deserves an Oscar. And he can do everything, yeah. Yeah. Because he's Bill Murray. And Peter Venkman was my favorite when I was a kid. Did Mm -hmm. y'all see the That's why I'm kind of a little asshole. What? Did you see Double Tap? No, I didn't see it. Was it good? Oh, my God. He's back in it, and it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. uh, Again, trailing off, but speaking of things that I haven't talked about that I've seen, are any of you guys watching the Harley Quinn animated show? Yes. I watched one cartoon, uh, one episode, and I loved it. I've seen the whole thing. It's incredible. Yeah. Yo, I don't know whether I was in a dick ass mood or what but i watched the first episode like a month and a half ago because they uh dc i i had all the episodes right now and i was like that's good it was pretty good and then i just moved on with my day didn't watch anymore i this week watched one and two Uh, this show is fire kite man Hell yeah. yeah! He showed up finally. Hell yeah. Calvin, <laughs> yes. Calvin is Calendar in man. No, Calendar man, man for the win. Like this show, <laughs> yo, this show. When people say when we're talking Birds of Prey being R-rated, and yeah. I said I like to see an R-rated Harley, and the internet lost it on me and was like, "Why do you need an R-rated Harley? Harley's great, whatever rated. She doesn't need it. Suicide no. Squad, man." No, no, no. They all talk. They all talk <laughs> like Jason very Mewes. Wrong. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of went into like a surfer boy after troll. Uh, yeah. Not sure why that happened, but it's because of this. She is her and Poison Ivy together in this. We're incredible. Uh, it's fire. Who are the voices? Okay, it's Haley Coco as uh, as, Harley. as Harley, and it's Lake Bell as Poison okay. Ivy. Who I uh, oh wow. Lake Bell is like to me the funniest, most beautiful person on the planet. Obsessed with her. I don't know who do who does. Uh, the other well, Frank Frank the the Venus flytrap is JB Smooth and he's that's hilarious. That's epic. That's epic. He's so funny in it. But every, every uh, oh god, 
Uh, Juan Carlos Esposito it plays Lex Luthor. He comes up later, which is pretty oh, cool. Oh shit! Um, I gotta watch. I now I that's uh, my Lex Luthor. And that's awesome. Alan Tudyk plays uh, Joker. He he's shit. absolutely wow. killing it. That makes sense. I mean, uh, that's the thing about DC man. They've always had great animated stuff, mm -hmm. no matter what. Since so I was good, a kid. Right. To oh. me, I will say I know we've got stuff going on with HBO Max, but DC Universe is a must-have app for me right now yeah. because. Mm -hmm. Of what happened in Titan season two, right. the ending didn't totally stick for me. But in general, it was a really strong season. Doom Patrol is one of the best comic Doom book Patrol shows so of all time. Good. And now with Harley, I get that the Swamp Thing had its own issues, but other th other than that, like they're knocking it out of the park and underrated, so underrated right now. I, I completely agree with you, and I but I think that that was the problem. Is that it's. You're really only going to catch, obviously, like the nerds part of this, and I think that's why they were suffering so much, is because everybody want needs like Hulu and Netflix and now Disney Plus. So then, trying to get people outside of like the nerddom to get into the service, I think that's why they're trying to roll it in HBO Max. Like, yeah, they just couldn't. that totally makes sense, though, yeah. because then you get two big things yeah, yeah, that you yeah, want, yeah. right? Which is mm -hmm. what I would want to do. Because mm -hmm. the only app I honestly like paying for is Spotify. <laughs> That's it. Fair. That's how I'm like, I'm not wasting money because I'm listening to music all the time. Yo, uh, Apple Music, yeah. I was so jealous of everybody's Spotify thing. I, I was too. Why do you, you why don't you, what do you guys mm -hmm. have? I did, we have Apple Music, oh. so there's no like, this is what you were listening to. No, I mean, everybody's posting their stuff. I'm looking at it. And I'm like, what, but what am I listening to? <laughs> no. Did you see that? You're all like, but I listen you listening to music to? too. I do too. Where's a lot mine? of hours do you want of me it. To, do you want me to do it for you on your <laughs> Apple Music? I don't think that's how it works. No, I know. But, dude, but it is the best discovery tool when it comes to music i have mm. discovered so many bands through I there agree. that i've actually have gone to concerts in la because of it like cody digs what you just said cody's, I completely cody's completely down. i've been quiet the whole show but i'll sit here and <laughs> i know are I'll you speak quiet? Up for spotify discover weekly are it's you quiet stuff. because you're tired cody from the weekend no. um Full disclosure, guys, we'll be transparent with you. So before the show, we were having some audio issues. We yeah. forgot what it was. Mm -hmm. Long story short, we think Alex's MacBook charger is like a parasite that's fucking up all the outlets back Whoa. here. Because Whoa. we plugged into the one that was next to the computer, and the show like dipped out for a second. Oh, so shit. So we're trying to figure some shit out. It's creepy. Unreal. Damn. It's Alex. Cool. What did, where did you get it? Did you get it at like a witch store? Christian Harloff gave it to him. How weird. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> that is so weird. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, or maybe uh, it's witch oh, there because you came from the other well show. Said. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. Yeah, We're going to send you back as a Trojan horse. Uh, so. I guess man. let's go to commercial. Christian, they figured it out. They figured it out. They found me. They know why I'm here. I don't know how, but they found me. <laughs> Run for it, Marty. <laughs> Guys, oh, when shit. we come back, we have a lot to talk about, including that Wonder Woman 84 trailer. And, uh, oh, yeah, do we have some guests coming in today? Yes. Justin Mother Frickin' Long! Yeah. Check, they're coming in! Talk out the class. We'll see you guys after this commercial. My music is on Spotify. Marzonia. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's your boy Dory. What's up, guys? It's your boy Dory. What's up, guys? It's your boy Dory. This is what you've waited for. This is what you've waited for. Yes, Alex. Aliens 
and shit. Aliens and shit. Aliens. The Action Guys! The Action Guys! Cool, we've got some, some good news that, we, that uh, happened already. Yeah. Cool, we've got some, some good news that, we, that uh, happened already. Yeah. Fuck you, Frank! Guys, we're back on Collider Live as I'm looking at the Golden Globe nominations mm. right now and feeling very confused, flustered, frustrated, all the above. I'm not surprised the, ever. There we go again. There's been a lot of talk this morning on the internet about these noms, and I kind of was like, I'm sure they're not that bad. And now I'm looking at them wondering where all of my favorite movies of the year are. Mm. I uh, mean... And they're not really... The big the big ones is, you know, for best motion picture, whether it's drama or musical comedy, you got Irishman, Joker, Two Popes, Marriage Story, 1917, Once Upon a so Time it, in Hollywood, Knives Out, Dolomite is My Name, Jojo Rabbit, Rocket Man. All good movies. So, uh... First Dolomite of all, is Mark, my name. what wow. are the chances that you can be shorter? Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of best picture, I, here I'll be totally honest with you guys. I've only seen I've only seen uh, Joker right now of the m- Drama. dramas. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have Marriage Story, obviously, an Irishman queued up, and I will be watching both of those. The other two I didn't even know were in the running for best picture, so I guess I'll have to watch those. It's like I, I've seen over 200 movies this year. Wow. Uh, straight Lord. straight yeah. up, I, oh, I'm God. watching so many movies. <laughs> some, some are older, some are newer, but I've watched more movies this year than I can possibly say. Mm-hmm. Oh. And, and how, how? So best oh, motion picture, you. musical, or comedy. Uh, I, I've i seen all the comedies. I've seen every and one I of love those. them. Yeah, I've I seen love all Once of them. Once Upon a Time, Knives Out, Dolomite, JoJo, and Rocket Man. They're all great. I'm, I'm bummed that... Late night hasn't gotten any recognition this year for anything. Uh, Book smart Books- should have been there. Sh- Book smart, Book smart, one hundred percent. Breaking my top five movies of the year. Uh, what do you guys think of those? Of those, any picks to win? Uh, I think probably I I I, I want Marriage Story to win drama, but it will probably be nineteen seventeen. As much as I would love to crown Joker, I you know how. They get about his. Did you picks. like Joker? Uh, yeah. Okay, I good. Did. I did. So we don't have to I, fight about it. I have I have my own beefs <laughs> with it, but right. like I think it's a very good movie. I think yeah. it's a very, very good movie. And if I'm I had, happy it got nominated. Right. And if I have to pick musical comedy, I would probably go JoJo. I would want Knives Out or Dolomite, but it'll probably be Rocket Man would be my guess. So if you're gonna end your sentence though with it would have to go. You can't say anything other than Joe Do you get it yet or no? no, no God damn it. Oh, she's still rhyming. Okay. She's <laughs> rhyming. So to be clear. All right. All right. Riley? 
Any winner? Uh, you know, I have, I'm like you. I haven't seen a number of these. So okay. for, for certain, you know, I have my favorites. I've heard really great things about Knives Out. It's uh, fucking I'm great. Dying it's amazing. It's, it's, it's awesome, but I don't think it's better than JoJo, okay. Dolomite, or... Uh, I think it was it's third on my I mean, list probably there. I Rocket think... Man I adore. I love right. that movie, eh. so I'm glad I'm glad it's really eh. really but you love Bohemian Rhapsody. I do love Bohemian Rhapsody. See, Rocket that's, Man's that's way better, where, Rhapsody. Yeah, oh my Bohemian god. Bohemian Rhapsody <gasps> is oh. not I thought Ro- Bohemian Rhapsody is a lifetime movie compared to Rocket Man. I think I that feel is the opposite. Wow, I feel the opposite. That is correct. I'm really with you yeah. I haven't seen Rocket, Rocket Man, yet. Man that's crazy. Rocket Man is across the universe light. It was no. like Oh Oh no 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 Mika no I, oh, I am man. shocked you like that movie. Oh, yeah. No, I loved it. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it just because of the booty? No, I mean, that was pretty nice. You know, you I like, always liked the booty. But You didn't like how they weaved in the, the, his music? No, I didn't. I actually, that's exactly what I didn't like. Didn't yeah, like yeah. God, it got so, me right in the feels. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I thought... I need a booty. a booty. Um, good song. What is this? This is great. It's amazing. You haven't been here for our booty it's, song? No, I've not been here for the booty song. You, you were here quite a bit, so that I can't believe we didn't play no, this all we, did, all we played was Zoobly Zoo. Yeah, fuck. Hey! <laughs> it, doesn't it, have it, on. <laughs> it wasn't cute. That's fine. It'll come. Yeah, there it is. Can't wait for the cats movie. Hey, hey, no, cats. No, no, no. We are going. We're I, just going. I just reached out about. I just reached out about it. Okay, well, can we go? We gotta <laughs> go to cats. I've got a ton. Of, <laughs> I'm going to see a ton of stuff this week, guys. There's so many movies at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I do just fucking suck in, sometimes. Rob, All right, let's go. In. Cody, you can come okay, with but wait. So, Paris, I got nominated. Good. Yeah. For foreign language, even though it should win. I, all for of best it. foreign Parasite language, Fare- Farewell should beat Parasite ten out of ten times. Okay. Fa- well, no, no, Farewell is incredible, both so but good. Parasite- Parasite- Parasite's good. Farewell is unbelievable. You got uh, that in the exact opposite. Opposite. Order. No, I'm yes. right. Farewell no. is. <laughs> farewell is. First of all, first of all, first of all, first you of all. You sounded first so all, confident. She yeah. really did. That's why. No, so really I'm actually right about. <laughs> wow. I'm right about the best movie. I know all movie things. You Fair. guys know. I saw 200 movies. This year. <laughs> <laughs> Just hang me up now. Hang me up now. <laughs> all right. I didn't see Pain and Glory, Portrait of a Lady, Wait, or Les Mis. I what hear they're Glory, all really. amazing. Oh, uh, what's best director? I want to see those. Martin Scorsese. Quentin Tarantino, Sam Mendes, Bong Joon-ho should win, and Todd Phillips. Man, if they give it to Todd Phillips, the internet's going to go crazy. I think that I, Todd I, Phillips I, deserves to win this. I really hope that he, I really hope that Todd Phillips doesn't get it. I, mm. I oh. mean, I just think I, it'd be I, really I, funny if he does, I, and that's what I'm I kind of want. right. So. <laughs> again, again with this. Again with this. Okay. 200. Right. It didn't play as well the second time? No, Bummer. not no, no. Yeah, the, no, the, the callback did not work. Oh, bummer. I'm still working <laughs> on the callback timing. I hear like three pages is the maximum you're supposed to go. Three pages. Best um, screenplay motion picture, uh, hmm, Once Upon a Time, Marriage Story, Two Popes. Have it, it, either any of you guys seen Two Popes? No. no. Uh-uh. Alex? Sorry, what? Uh, well, Did you see again. Two Sorry. Popes? I have not seen Two Popes. I'm seeing it probably this week. Alex, must know. What were you doing when I asked that question? We were, we were discussing. Uh, what were we discussing? We're talking about the screenplay for Marriage Story and whether or not it was nomination worthy. Mm. We're talking. How about is topic. your guys' really? conversation going? It's it's pretty fun. You guys are having a separate Golden Gloves come. Yeah, we really okay. should record our separate show while we're doing this. Thank yeah. you, Thad. You want to know what? I, look, I would I watch, watch it. The, I watch the playback from time to time. Y'all just be putting the camera on yourself and someone talking about something important. Just be like, look at me, I'm Alex. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually a dead ringer for what they do. <laughs> Best performance by an actress in a motion picture guys there we go let's talk renee that zellweger charlie theron uh saoirse ronan cynthia, cynthia Ar- erivo uh scarlett johansson it's damn it's who who would you guys pick w- that's crazy i'm between although i have I not see bombshell yeah, bombshell's see amazing bombshell. and it's oh i think the embargo's up right now what's today the ninth monday yeah it's the night. What time is it it's, nine it's, it's, i don't know what time the embargo is out reviews out already you have yeah this go. morning 
Go, Roxy, go. You're go, go, go. Are you positive? Are you positive? Yes. Go, go, go. Yo, Bombshell is the number one best movie of the year. Okay. It's, this movie's incredible, and before, wow. I, when I saw wow. Judy, I said, this is a wrap. Give Renee Zellweger the Oscar. But then I saw Bombshell, and I have to say, I've never been this torn. Charlize Theron, this is as good a performance as Monster was. Whoa. She is, really? she, wow. in the first, wow. in the opening VO, I won't tell you what she says, but it's opening VO with Charlize, and she is Megyn Kelly. What she does with her vocal cords is, mm. is unbelievable. I've never heard somebody be able to drop an octave like that, right. but not sound like you're putting, putting on, on a voice. A voice. Mm. It's it's incredible. A lot of, uh, th- yes, there is stuff going on with her face. I'm sure that there's some like prosthetic stuff happening there because sure, what sure. they do with her facial structure she looks like her but the way that she moves everything she does uh, margot robbie was amazing in the movie right. as well but a bombshell to me i i fist pumped so hard i related i connected i wanted to cry for them and then also was so so empowered by the end of the movie it felt like there was fire in the room this movie is amazing i don't know why it's it's getting some buzz but it's not getting the buzz that it deserves right now this is the best picture of the damn i've never seen you more excited over a movie before Uh, it is okay uh, like literally never this is this is impressive which also is ever I ruined it, guys. So, Bombshell. Bombshell Mark, to, hold on, hold on. But what? You're the producer, right? Yeah. I need you to stop this. So I'm gonna keep saying Zoobly Zoo. Oh shit! Ah. <laughs> I need you to stop. Roxy, <laughs> I need you to Zoobly Zoo all the way. Yeah. Uh, Wait, then you should, can you come every day? Every day. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just yeah. go ahead and change the subject real, real quick to go back to this. Why is Tom Hanks nominated for supporting? They probably uh, did. You see the movie? I haven't seen because the movie because he's a supporting actor in it. Gotcha. Matthew, yeah, it's not really a Matthew star. Reese okay, is the <laughs> actor. <in it>. <laughs> <laughs> Put you in your place, man. Ooh, oh, damn. Yeah. You, you guys really told me. Let, we, I tell you what. Let's get to it, but first. because he's not the fucking main actor <laughs> yeah, in the fucking whoa. movie. How Star- dare I assume <laughs> Tom <laughs> Hanks okay, playing Mister Rogers is starring in the movie about Mister Rogers? <laughs> okay, hold on. That's good. I couldn't remember if I was allowed to swear on this because yeah, yeah, when I do yeah. sports time, I'm not. Yeah. allowed to fucking say fucking not a goddamn mm. shitty wow, fucking thing. you know thing. what makes fucking you want to say fuck it. more than anything? Huh. Sports. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot. Ooh. A lot. The Especially cow- yesterday. The Cowboys make me want to say fuck all the time. With those motherfucking Patriots. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yesterday. Uh-huh. It yeah. makes us really happy. Patriots. We That's love you, That's not an octave you're supposed to hit. Okay? Uh-huh. We love you, but we're happy. Yeah. We're happy. We're happy. What's up with what you're doing? We're happy. Were you, were you fucking? I don't know. Were you fucking I the think Patriots? I was. was like, I think yeah. I was fucking the table. I was so we happy. We love you, but we're happy. <laughs> I was humping uh, the table. Jesus. I was so happy that they suck. It's like, yeah, the yeah. Patriots suck. You know? <laughs> 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 you didn't even know you were doing it. Just sitting there. You were like, oh. <laughs> 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 I couldn't oh. let it go. I mean, with that sound bite, it's just as perfect. It really ties the room together. Yeah. Right? Oh, God. I don't want to oh, even say anything okay. after that because the last time I said something after that it was some sexual thing towards Alex that you guys clipped out. Oh, well, yeah. What was that? Oh, yes, Alex. Yeah, can we please show oh, Wins yeah. Alex? That sounds hilarious. What was yeah, this? Listen yes, to it. Oh, yes, Alex. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Here's the actual oh, yeah, thing about oh, that that's yeah, very oh, weird yeah, for me. Oh, yeah, so my middle name is Alex, and that's what people that I'm really close to call me. So that's a, it is a little weird for me, so but it's I get you're you're feeling it. I'm just like I'm just like I'm just like it's just it just it just remember it just reminds, you literally can't look at me. I can't I can't look at you for a second. No, but, just no, look at her while look at her while she's saying it. Look at her. Oh yes, Alex. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh yes. Oh, yes. oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, Alex. It, it it puts me it puts me in a, a similar kind of like confused mind state when I kept explaining to Roxy I could tell when the callers were black, and she's like, can you really tell if they're black callers? But you want to know what you did to me? What? Now every time a caller you comes always, in, you I- You always think? I, uh, <laughs> but you know what I can't do? <laughs> you can't ask. ask. You can't ask. Because, and, and it doesn't effing matter, but right. now I'm like, uh, can Incredible. I tell? Yeah. I can't. Yeah? I, I cannot I tell. Sense. How do you, would you think that this person was black? Oh, yes, Alex. No. Mm. <laughs> not at all. You not at all. Right. Uh, no, no, no. No, but Filipino. Though. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but anyway, oh, so, uh, so Golden Globes. Yeah. Uh, what do you got, Mark? Another interesting thing. The Golden Globes have settled the debate 
for The Lion King. Did you see this? No. Lion King nominated for Best Animated. Fuck off. Woo. <laughs> sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. It technically okay. is animated, though. No, but, it's but not. But everybody's been talking, is it live action or animated? And the Golden Globe said, fuck you, it's animated. It's, it's technically animated. And let's, uh, let's by the way, see. shouldn't be nominated, just period. Wait, just, just get it off So there. it's Frozen 2, Toy Story 4, How to Train Your Dragon, Hidden World, that should win. Missing Link, and The Lion King. <laughs> what, what's Missing Link? Uh, Missing Link was uh, Hugh Jackman. It's the Leica movie. Yeah, the Leica movie. Yes. Uh, all right. Right. Hugh Jackman and uh, Zach Galifianakis. So I saw all the other ones. Mm-hmm. On what, oh, why, no, that's not true. I didn't see Frozen. Why is it all Disney shit? There's other animated stuff that's better. Probably. How to Train Your Dragon, The yeah. Hidden World, needs to win the mo- mm-hmm. win all the awards. It was fine. Fine. Yeah. Oh, Roxy. I would give it to Toy Story. Because they've already given it to Toy Story. Yeah. It's fine. It was, Toy Story it was, was great. It was good. It, it was, was good. good. But I don't know. I'm it was good. Did you guys plan that shit? No. no. But thank God we're on the same page here. This is why the hey. best. This is why what? Oh. The best. Mm-hmm. I just. <laughs> Ooh. Can you scroll thank up God a little bit, yeah, Alex? Man. I want to see the score. Sorry, other way. Down is what I meant. No, no, no. Jennifer there we Lopez, go. go back. Well, that's good too, but yeah. Hey. Did Jennifer, which way to go right? She now. did not get nominated. Hey. No. Oh. Hustlers yes, didn't get any no, no, nominations. No, 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 she did. did. Jennifer Lopez did. Yeah, she oh, she did. did. She did. Best Constance you're right. supporting Con- role. Constance Wu did. So, in a supporting role uh, by okay an actress, with. it's Jennifer Lopez, Laura Dern, Margot Robbie, Kathy Bates, and that Benning. Uh, I. Uh, well, I talk still have to see a, Mary's story, apparently. Talk about a bunch of witches. Good for them. Yeah. Uh. Margot Robbie was amazing. She has one scene in Bombshell, guys, that had me, like, sobbing on the floor. Really? Wow. Yeah, okay. she has one scene that is so... She is very... Um, I actually don't... I need to do more research. I don't know if her character in the movie... I don't know her character in the movie. Okay. The other ones, I know who they are. Her, I do not. Okay. She reminds me a lot of Tommy Lauren, mm-hmm. the actual, like... Yeah, Tammy yeah. Lauren. Oh. Tommy, Tammy, Tammy. Tammy. right. Okay. Her name's we, Tommy. we always change her name. Tommy, but yeah. All the trolls Tommy. change her name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The trolls call her Tammy. <laughs> yeah, she, like her, her, the way she speaks. I call her Becky. But her name is not I call Tommy. Her Karen. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I guess Karen. It was a brown moment. Just let it happen. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Always trying to button on the brown moments. Tammy <laughs> 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 Well done, Roxy. What do you guys think uh, about best performance by an actor in a motion picture, musical, or comedy? Leonardo DiCaprio, Eddie Murphy, Daniel Craig, Taron Egerton, Roman Griffin Davis. Ooh. Uh, Good for Roman are, Griffin Davis. Uh, I love that Eddie Murphy was nominated. Me too. I really I do. do I cause, too. Uh, Dolomite uh, mm-hmm. is my, one of my favorites of the year. So It was his comeback deserves, role really for sure. Was. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Craig was fantastic. Taron, much better than Rami Malek. As Taron was, was excellent. Taron was excellent. Okay, all right. Um, what's uh? So no. So what about drama for for actors? Mm. There we go. Joaquin, Christian Bale, Antonio Banderas, Jonathan Price, Adam Driver. I mean, I think this is a dead a dead winner for Joaquin, right? Yeah. I don't know, man. I, Christian is Christian is. There's, it's going to be a, a hard fought campaign. Joaquin will probably win it, but Christian yeah. did an incredible job. If man. the Joker is going to win any uh, awards, it's going to be for actor for sure. Probably. Mm-hmm. I'm stoked. And score. I think it'll get. Score. I hope it better. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked that Aquafina was nominated for the farewell for best performance That's by great. an actress in the motion yes. picture, musical, or comedy, but Shh. also in this. Uh, Category Beanie Feldstein for Book Smart. So oh, good. at least a little bit of love there. Nice. And Emma Thompson for Late Night. Uh, Anna de Armas for Knives Out. Also amazing. Kate in Blanchett the movie. for yeah. Where'd You Go, Bernadette. I did not see that movie. I feel like Alex did. Nope. Uh, but I did see Pain and Glory, and I wanted to butt in about that. Pain okay. and Glory is one of my favorite movies like of the 45 year. 45 minutes ago. Uh, that's Antonio a, Banderas. That's a new Almodovar, right? Yes, it is. Yes. See, I, I really want to see that. See. Si. I'm sorry. <laughs> Say it again. That's the oh, new Almodovar. Si. How do you say it in English? Oh. Almodovar? What? Almodovar. Pedro Almodovar? Uh, uh, Almodovar? Uh, Alex, what is she saying? Pedro Almodovar. That one. Oh, Almodovar. it's a, a person. Yeah. So it's a legendary director from your, from Spain. Uh, yeah. He did. Uh, I'm so, let the hate come in. I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Fine. You're uh, fine. No, I'm just, I'm just telling you who he you is because then you can see his movies. movies this year? I really feel like I have seen 5,000 movies this year. Yeah. And yeah. I've got, <laughs> I, this week <laughs> I'm fair. seeing. Jumanji, uh, tonight I'm seeing, what are we seeing tomorrow, D? Um, Richard Jewell. Richard Jewell. The, and the new Clint Eastwood. Yeah, Thursday I'm seeing Little Women, which you I already, saw already uh, and checked I, out. And I, that's usually not my cup of tea, and I loved it. And oh. I'm trying to see uh, Uncut Gems this week also, because I hear that that's bomb.com. Yeah. yeah. I, well, uh, do I you think no that nominations him? for Golden Globe? Do though, you huh? think that he's going to take a hit in his Oscar campaign because he didn't get the Golden Globe nomination? 
I feel like Golden wondering. Globes are very different than Oscars usually, though. They are, but just kicking off the the award season, you know, like I mean, I guess technically the Emmys did that, but but you know what I mean, like that. This is kind of like a, a front runner for like movies to figure right. out how people are gonna go. I was just curious if you guys felt that this would yeah. affect it at all. Yeah, it's a good indicator. Mm-hmm. I'll always say uh, with Golden Globe. So I, I am surprised. I've heard nothing but good things about Adam mm-hmm. Sandler and the buzz. So surprise. I would think Golden Globes would be the place he'd get the nomination. So yeah. for the Oscars, can we, we look at the TV really quick though? Sorry, I just want to see the, the succession. Drama. There we go. Jesus. Wait, okay. <laughs> were you, were you going to bring up another category? Yes. Roxy? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was just talking. It's fine. Let's move to uh, TV shows. But what, No, I want to know what you had to say. Uh, what I was going to say was of the movies that were nominated for drama or musical comedy, we've got 10 of them. We've got 10 spots for the Oscars. How many do you guys think are actually going to be nominated for Oscars? Like seven or six. I think Irishman and Once Upon a Time. If I'm going down the list right now. I think Parasite because I haven't seen it yet. But that's not but nominated here. Which of these do you think is going to be nominated? Did they, oh. did they did they make a ruling on whether or not you can do oh, Netflix director, movies sorry. as best picture or not? Because I know they were. I debating. think you can. Okay, then because uh, they had releases in theaters. Yeah. Okay. Briefly. Okay. Um. Probably Irishman, Joker. Nineteen seventeen because of Hollywood and Marriage Story. I think that's story. it. I okay, that's so it. you think none of the musical or comedy category are going to be nominated? Maybe Rocket Man, but that would be it. That would be the only one I think. I, I like all the rest you, of them. I but. could see Little Women be nominated instead of the in some of these, mm-hmm. and, as well mm-hmm. as um, uh, what's it called? Bombshell will. In terms of these, I, yeah. feeling, I, I think that I think that Rocket Man doesn't get nominated. I think Dolomite mm-hmm. doesn't get nominated. I right. think Knives Out doesn't get nominated. I think Two Popes doesn't get nominated. What's coming? There's a huge yeah, one coming out I'm on Christmas. You. My brain's not working. Uh, Cats. Cats. Yeah. No. God damn it. No. Star Wars? <laughs> no, but they won't get nominated, I don't yeah, think. No. Little Women. Uh, on Christmas. I have the a report? feeling that Endgame might. They're not going to win, but I think they'll get a nomination. For uh, Best Picture? Yeah. Maybe. I think so. Wow. It's, okay. too, it's too, the, the same wow. way that Avatar did, which I don't. I never thought it should have. And um, But the Oscars always go for like the traditional directors. Like They're going to nominate Scorsese, Tarantino. Sure. Like All those movies are definitely sure, sure, going to sure. be. There's a list of uh, the Christmas movies. Okay, so it was. it's the Just Mercy. I think Just Mercy ah. will get one, too. Hmm. That was the other one that I kept seeing popping up that I think will be. Will do be you guys, that's the Michael B. Do you guys think one, right? that mm-hmm. uh, Parasite, Farewell, uh, Peanut Butter Falcon, which we love, that's right. getting buzzed, but nobody's picking pa- it up right now. Parasite. I think Parasite right. will. Uh, I it think there's should. enough critical acclaim that it'll do it. Uh, it obviously did okay, did not great at the box office here, but that's just because, you know, with foreign film, a lot of people. It's aren't because. Gonna... The it's going to be the superhero s- movies are playing in all of the yeah. theaters. Mm. That's fine. Let, like you said, D, let's go to the TV shows for a second. For musical or comedy, Barry, Politician, Fleabag, Kaminsky Method, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I've watched all of those except for The Politician. And if I had to give it to somebody that, for this last season, I'd give it to Fleabag. Fuck yeah, you would. Yeah. Yeah. Fleabag's I my agree. favorite on there. I'm just pissed off. And Doom then right there for there. Barry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Doom Patrol is the. Sh- but they don't get recognized I at all. Know. What's no. up there for drama? For drama, it's The Crown. The Morning Show, Succession, Big Little Lies, and Killing Eve. Who has Apple TV Plus? Pretty surprising to me that The Morning Show got nominated for this, although it does have massive stars in it. Uh, Succession is the best of the best right now. I I yes. I'd be hard pressed for them not to give it to Succession. I'm yeah, I'm surprised Mr. Robert or Mr. Robert Mr. <laughs> Robot's not nominated. I'm mm. also surprised that Watchmen isn't nominated. Right. I, it must not have been eligible. Do you, you have so to be, be done with year? your season? I guess. Is that what it is? There's no way that it's not nominated in any of these categories. Mm. So uh, It's got to be for them next year. Can I Can I say I'm very happy that Game of Thrones is not? Like, yeah. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm pretty crushed about them. that. I think that they definitely deserve that nom. No, they no. do for not the sh- actors. Yeah. The actors and, and the, the way show. it looked. I like Like, production season. stuff should have been nominated. But I loved the season. She did. I loved it. She wrote an article about it. And Many. It good, Many know? articles. Yeah. yeah. I did. I loved it. Best performance by an actor in a television in series. Jin. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. <laughs> Without a beat. Let's go. That was some great timing. Yeah. That, that was, was that really was good. That, that was, was so fire. good. Without yeah, just guys, of not a beat. Gin. Gin. And then like gin. I'm in advanced at Groundlings. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm starting to get her. I'm so excited. It's awesome. Best performance by an actor in television series drama, Brian Cox for Succession, Tobias Menzies for The Crown, Billy Porter, Pose, Kit Harrington, Game of Thrones, Rami Malik, Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot. Uh, this is a really, really tough category. Really tough category. Uh, do you guys think they give it to Kit Harrington as like a? No, I think they're gonna give it to Brian, Brian Cox personally. 
I have to see Succession. I don't know. All right, for actress in a television series drama, Jennifer Aniston, Olivia Coleman, Jodie Comer, Nicole Kidman, Reese Witherspoon. Uh, Nicole Kidman was amazing in Big Little she Lies. She was excellent. Like that, that role, I think, is one of the most complex roles she's ever played. I think she deserves it. I think I, I, the emotional st- like stuff she went through, like that, yeah. I was very impressed with her. But I love Olivia Coleman. I was she's gonna my say without context of the morning show or The Crown, I can't really guess. But I. I knowing Big Little Lies and Killing Eve, I go Jody Coleman. Uh, I'm pretty excited about these for actress Homer. in in musical or comedy. Uh, Rachel Brosnahan, or if you're Tiffany Haddish, Rachel Brahaha, uh, <laughs> Kirsten, Kirsten Dunst, uh, Christina Applegate, Natasha Leone, and Phoebe Waller Bridge. Wild about this because I think that Phoebe Waller Bridge actually will probably take this one home. I think mm. so too. Which would yeah. be pretty pretty freaking exciting. Which come on, man. Fantastic actress, fantastic writer, fantastic director. Give us some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like we all suck compared to her. She's so cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, give us some. Sure. Uh, best performance by. <laughs> I feel that. There's Cody. Best performance yep. by an actor in a television series, musical or comedy. Michael Douglas, Bill Hader, Ben Platt, Paul Rudd, uh, Rami Youssef. Paul Rudd, Living With Yourself, I'm surprised by that nom. He was, he was excellent, He though. was absolutely excellent. As a matter of fact, that just reminded me, because we just went off of actresses. Again, no love for Doom Patrol. I thought uh, uh, God, Diane Guerrero deserved, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. She was great, but I think April Balby is the You think star. so? Yeah, hmm. I do. I do. Because I think that Diane's getting set up for failure sometimes with just how many times they're making her switch and, and how little we get to spend with any of the different personalities. That's. I mean, that's that's fair, but I guess the for show's me, amazing, the, the, the fact that on a dime, she can flip through those. It reminds me so much of uh, oh god, I'm just tired today. James McAvoy uh, doing uh, oh yeah, a split. bunch split. Thank you. Yeah, a bunch of people in the chat are saying that Watchmen is eligible. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's what they're saying. That can't be true. That would be crazy. But what's also crazy right now is for best limited series. I'm looking at this. It's loudest voice, Chernobyl, unbelievable, Fosse Verdon, Catch Twenty Two. Two was when they see us not eligible or not no, it nominated. Wasn't nominated. Everyone as one of the major snubs. Yeah. Uh, but are you fucking on crack? What? Yeah, that's insane. Yep. That's insane. It is, it is not only the best limited series of the year, it's the number one best show of the year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the best you, thing that wow. was on television all year. Yeah, that is When they that see the, the, go, the Golden Globes did not nominate When They See Us Associated for best foreign limited press, right? series. What? Associated Foreign Press, right? The Golden Globes? Hollywood that would, that would Foreign be Press. Hollywood, 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 Hollywood Foreign Press. Hollywood foreign they press. did not nominate When They See Us. Uh, Are you is that, that is that real that that's yep. eligible and it was not nominated? That's what it, that's what well, Twitter is yelling I, about. Then I actually don't. I actually don't want to watch. Yeah, like, I know this that is, all of a sudden I'm boycotting. Is, Should we start awful. a petition well, to boycott the Golden Globes? It's not Globe. that. It's just so <laughs> clear that you didn't see it. Yeah. Then. Like yeah. Th- then you didn't watch because yep. it is. If it lost, it lost, which is stupid because it is the best. But to not nominate it, to put. All of these other shows on there and not nominate it. Yeah. Or you got. I mean, you're blind. Yep. 100%. That's fucking disgusting. 100. percent But I, I, I. That's what I was saying. As far as like, I, I, I'd be more curious to see how the Oscars handle it. Right. Um, Wait, because... and not nominated for a performance either. Nope. Nope. Well, what nope, do nope, you nope. mean? Wow. Uh, well, I mean, is, is the Oscars nominated in that type of stuff? I, I guess it's it, it, it's technically, I believe, considered like a. Uh, it would be considered a. Uh, a docu series or something like that. I think that they, they can get an Oscar nom. I'm, oh really? I'm, I might be. I might be wrong on that one, but I think I that know. they let can. Me, let me double, double check. Wow. Because it kind of fits under a weird for category. Jarell of Jerome both, to but... not be nominated for this either. I agree. I mean, you... so that's your biggest snub, Roxy, uh, I, for sure. It it's that's insane. Like yeah. yeah, that's not just a snub. That's egregious. Yeah. Because it is so clearly the best. Oh yeah. Okay. It's yeah, that's crazy. But that's the Golden Globes for you. They always do shit but like this. But this. do you see that? that that's what's that's what's kind of crazy. Because what? No Watchmen and no this. Uh, you're I don't talking feel about like two... not Watchmen's not eligible. It it is. It, it is. really they're, they're, is. They're, people are talking about how that was snubbed too, and I think that that's what this. You're sounds... telling me that Regina King, Watchmen, all everything's well, eligible. And everything that's being talked about. And the in episodes, that. episode six, seven, those mm-hmm. are eligible. Mm-hmm. So like that's the thing that's. I was kinda... so excited to talk about this, and now I'm like legit livid. But that's that's the thing that's kind of weird. Is that like I'm. I'm not, I'm not necessarily even trying to take it there, but that's two that's two major like black focused like uh, media projects that are just being completely like wiped out. I don't think you cannot take it there when it's so mm-hmm. like I mean that is when they're do that you good. Think yeah. Do you yeah. think it's just they're nominating things that people have watched and that one didn't get as much viewership? Watchmen when is, they see is... it's got a lot. So then what the hell? I don't know. Yeah, and, I, and Watchmen's I, I, been doing well too. 
Oh, Watchmen's uh, ratings are are huge. So people are watching. Yeah. So here's here's a bunch of a Watchmen was completely shut out. So it is eligible. Um, when yeah, they the see good us, place didn't get anything. What the hell? I completely good place is incredible. Good, good, place, good, is good place is amazing. Good place is incredible, and I love that show. But it, that's not as ridiculous. No, I don't disagree with you. But just looking at some of the other stuff that's not on here. But yeah, what to not have Watchmen and when they see us is is yeah. insane. Oh, oh look, my God! What right yeah, here? Watchmen is an average of seven point one million viewers. It's the most popular new series of the year based on ratings. Oh 7. my God! Nine million Jack, viewers. Jack Dennis in the chat says Golden Glows officially became a joke when they nominated The Tourist with jo- Jolie and Depp. That's <laughs> you are not wrong. You are not wrong. Yeah. I I I will tell you guys. I watched Chernobyl, and I know that that's. It seemed to be Chernobyl, and when they see us, people were going back and forth over what was the best, not only limited Chernobyl series has of this a good year, score. but of this freaking decade. Right. And Chernobyl was excellent. Good score. But when they see us was better. Right. It was better. When the, Chernobyl was excellent. Do you think that for, in general, not just the Golden Globes, but the Oscars and every nomination, it's just like... It's just a popularity contest, right? It's yeah. like it's like everybody yeah. that votes, it's like, oh, I'm friends with like this director, and so I'm going to support his movie. I mean, that's what it is, right? No, yes, I, but I think that, and that the thing that I think is wild to me is how do you not pay attention to what people were talking about throughout the year? Because they and do. Not, and, and, and like, for example, uh, I was actually, I'm curious, I have to go back and look at the Emmy stuff. I was surprised that like Surviving R. Kelly wasn't brought up. Right, like, because that was that was some otherworldly shit that people were talking about at the start yeah. of the year. But like this, uh, Watchmen, it, it's very weird. It sometimes feels like people just have their heads so far up their ass that they just aren't paying attention. That they to didn't what, see us. Yeah, some of these nom- ha, 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 <laughs> when they don't see us. That's yeah. That's, <laughs> It's kind of what's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, I know you made that uh, that joke. That's sad though. That's no, like, no, dude, no. I'm you serious. said that, and I was like, "Fuck, man, you, yeah. you're right." Because I and I wonder if it's so long. Because I remember doing the Oscars here at, at, at Collider. We did our big party and yeah. live stream, and I was talking about how much I loved that um, that series because it came out what back back in February. Like March. March, it was it was like a month after Surviving R. Kelly. R. Kelly okay. dropped like January, February, and then this came out like February, March. Because like is it like they're so far up their ass that they for, they didn't see it, they forgot about mm-hmm. it because it's so because far. Because it's I mean, same with uh, when they Peele's didn't see us. us. Yeah, when yeah. they didn't see yeah, us. They didn't yeah. Get exactly. Either. Yeah, that was so. interesting. Thank you guys. I, I, <laughs> you're like waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. Groundlings. Yeah. How, how you doing, Roxy? You you you're a little bit over. Are you still upset? I, honestly, like I I I feel like it was a it's a waste of time to give the this these nominations merit if they're gonna do something as ridiculous as that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I never give any of the nominations merit, but I do have. I'm I, I treat them as sports. I'm like, oh yeah, that'd be cool if that one the, wins because then it's entertaining. Do you want to talk to me about what the chat's saying right now, guys? We're live every single morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I'm curious because I usually don't even. When they see us, won Emmys. Uh, right. Nobody has more money than Disney. True. The Hollywood politics. No. Oh. D- Dorina just likes to rag on Disney. Yeah, it's just because it's funny. But actually, we all know that it's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Disney is the best. They they pay me money. Disney, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you, House Overlord. <laughs> I bow to I bow to you, Mickey. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm very sorry. We all know that the Golden Globe noms are about what Hollywood star and the HFPA wants to schmooze with during the ceremony and nothing more. Why would they not want to schmooze with Ava DuVernay? Like, th- she is the woman on the rise. Mm-hmm. She's not even on the rise anymore. She arrived. You know what? She arrived. I don't know. You know what? It's probably because somebody at the Hollywood uh, Foreign Press tried to call Ava DuVernay auntie and she wouldn't have an that shit. Oh, that's and so true. then they were like, you'll Did never it? get another nomination from me. That's like true. That's, didn't that's Natalie actually Portman like kind of actually? <laughs> didn't Natalie Portman actually make fun hair, of it, it last week? L- last week, last year, yeah. where she was like, I forget who she was presenting with, she's but like, she's here like, are the, here are the the all nominees. male, blah blah blah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that was the other thing. No female, no female directors were nominated. Mm-hmm. That was another thing that people were bringing up. Well, women can't direct. We all know that. <laughs> Just, Did you see the Wonder Woman 1984 trailer? Well, let's talk about it right now. Oh, that's a transition for your ass. Yeah. That's a boom. Yeah. Transition. Patty Jenkins in the house, y'all. Can First, we play some Blue Monday, co- Cody? Ooh, no, this is bad. Here's the deal. This was not a trailer. It was a teaser trailer. Again with the teaser trailers. But, I'm confused with the labeling. But it was like a trailer, though. This was a full-blown yeah. music, over two-minute, badass storytelling, Steve Trevor appearing, Gal Gadot kicking butt 
trailer trailer. Mm -hmm. That's called the teaser trailer. So let's talk about it because people have been nervous about Wonder Woman 1984. Yes, I have. I've been so nervous. Why? There is something about this constant level of like secrecy and postponing and everything else because the DCEU has been a dumpster fire for a while that like I was like, great, Shazam was to good. You. To okay. Other people. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Re- fine. <laughs> look, look. I refuse well, to ever. Just clarify. I refuse to ever say that hashtag that people love to keep bringing up. But if they do eventually do that, I'd be fine with it. But yeah. I'm Release not gonna. I'm not, Snyder I, won't say, I won't say that. I won't say it. I won't. <laughs> but but like I, I enjoyed Aquaman. I had fun. Wonder Woman was great. Shazam was great. So. I kept getting nervous with all of the things that have been going on with it that they kept pushing it back and pushing it back mm-hmm. and not telling us what's going on. Yeah, it didn't uh, make Patty sense. Jenkins said out loud, I'm bummed we pushed it back because it's ready and great. Yeah. So that was weird to me too. It seemed to be more about box office and, and when it, they wanted it I to lie it. in their series and I, movies. I totally get it. I just, but that was why I was very happy to see this trailer and really enjoy it because oh, I you just liked the trailer was, a lot. Oh, I loved it. Good. Yeah. Dude, New Order. <laughs> like, they played New Order throughout the whole trailer. I was like, well, this trailer's for Dorina. This is great. I can't wait to watch good, this fucking movie. It's a good song yeah. choice, but they should have ended it with Metallica's Ride the Lightning. So, I mean, that would be pretty good. I mean, 1984 good was when the album came good out. Good point. Good it was point. previously set to release December 13th, 2019, which means we would actually be watching it this weekend. See, that's and bullshit, it was moved to that... November 1st, 2019. So it's looking like it wants more of that November box office that seems to be up and coming more popular recently. Right. Uh, and that l- leftover Thanksgiving jam. But now, um, but now it's been yeah. Now it's the, they're, they're making it a summer blockbuster again, which is fine. Right, but I feel and like Patty like Jenkins said that. Didn't she it said move from November again though? Yeah, it's yeah. June. Oh, yeah, it's June. June. Yeah, okay. it's June next year. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't remember it. Yeah. She came out. Patty Jenkins June. said came out and said we moved it so to the rightful place because it was June of 2017 I just, I just, when the first one came out. I just feel personally affronted because that could have been a movie for my birthday week, and now instead. When's your birthday? The tomorrow. Oh. So, but instead, hey, you know, tomorrow's your birthday. birthday. What are you doing? Uh, taking Jay Washington to the DMV. <laughs> 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 I'm not thrilled about it. Why? I'm really wow. not. Because wow. because I'm apparently a good friend. I'm not. You it, are the best funny, friend. Funny story. So I already took him the first time, and I thought we would <laughs> got all this shit done. And I was in the car like uh, talking to my manager about some shit, and I get a text from him being like December 10th, and I was like. Oh, he remembered my birthday. Yeah, December 10th. And then he comes out and he's like, all right, cool. So my actual driving test is set for December 10th, 10 a.m. I said, bitch, what the fuck it is? And he goes, no, that's what I was texting you about. I was like, bro, it's my birthday. He goes, oh, I don't give a fuck about that. I I just needed your car. And I was like, oh, god damn it. So that's what I'm doing for my birthday. Well, he better buy you some food or something. Oh, he ain't going to buy me shit. (laughs) (laughs) I hope you're watching this. Clip this out for me. Clip this all out and put... We're saying well, talk shit about Jay Washington. This is part of our official Wonder Woman trailer review. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's talk Wonder Woman, guys. It's going to be clipped out. Let's, there we go. The That's music the in this trailer was awesome. Yes, that mm. remix. Super duper 80s, Oof. super badass, got me right into it off the bat, uh, and set up the tone for this weird, bright, quirky film. Still a little confused on Cheetah. Not sure what we're getting yeah. there. If we're getting woman uh, who wears cheetah print stuff and they're just <laughs> saving for the movie her actually transforming into more cheetah woman like, or if this is the ultimate cheetah. Right. There was also a release, I don't know if you guys saw, of a, a mug. Mm. You know how usually we get we get things in Lego? Mm. This no, time like we got pops. it in mug. It was a mug of cheetah, also in cheetah print clothes, not being full-blown cheetah. Okay. So there's been questions about whether or not we're going to see that transformation. I think that we probably will. Oh, yeah, say yeah, cheetah sure. again. Cheetah. Say, say cheetah. 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 Uh, how, how are you feeling, Dave? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to play the Alex thing again. I was like, don't do not do that. As someone who... Oh, yes, Alex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> As someone who uh, is, you know, grew up loving superhero movies and definitely feels like we're getting too many of them, I'm just being a nerd asshole about it, I got very excited when I saw this mm-hmm. because I obviously very much enjoyed the first one, but I always get scared with sequels because they're usually not as good. Sure. But this looks very different than the first one and that's what's so great maybe this is just like a fun uh sort of like uh maybe it's or maybe this is like a fun 80s movie or maybe it's the winter soldier 
of Wonder Woman, which it would be, be pretty awesome. I'd because imagine. Kristen Wiig's amazing. This, yeah. This and so she's going to be amazing no matter what. I already loved her in the trailer. It seems like they were maybe starting off as friends, like I, her character, what's uh, Cheetah's name? Barbara? Um, so Minerva. Minerva? Is yeah. that what her name is? And so... Um, do you do you feel like you like that joke though? Then with the when you're talking about that friendship at the yeah, beginning, yeah. where she's like, "Yes, I have fallen in love yeah. many times, many times." So that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we're getting like that vibe of like, oh, like they're starting to be friends, but she seems a little, you know, cuckoo, and and, and weird and off, and like who we'll see what we'll see what happens. But I love the fact that it's a good trailer without showing you what the story is, so they don't spoil things for me. Yeah, it, it, except it, for obviously, you know, we already knew. Uh, beautiful man's coming back. He's coming back yeah. for whatever reason. That yeah. is his full name, yes. His beautiful man? Yes. Beautiful man. <laughs> Calendar man, kite man, <laughs> beautiful man. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, do we not agree that Chris Pine is beautiful? I do. Beautiful I, I'm also have questions for you guys about Chris Pine coming back, though. It seems like similar to in the in the first Wonder Woman movie where she is seeing all these things of the world and he's kind of explaining to her what it is. Oh, the now roles are the reversed flip. in That's this. Cool. So they're talking about artwork and he's at the trash can. Oh my god. No, that's that. a trash can. This movie's gonna be great. It's gonna be rush hour two. Yes. Think about this. Being like, don't you ever touch a Chinese man C D. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Want some moon shoe. Is this is literally what we're about to get is a complete flip out of LA into Hong Kong. You're going out of his world into hers. This Which is means great. that obviously he's been gone up till this point. We see that part of the trailer as well. Do you guys think for sure, for sure, what we are seeing is that she has somehow brought back some Steve Trevor, or do you guys think that this is possible in her head, or that only certain people can interact with him? Or Zeus that did it. The go- right, so you think right, it's the right before he died, he got taken away in the time travel, or whatever. We're gonna need you in like forty years, and well, then boom, there you go. Patty Jenkins did uh, say that it's not a gimmick. She said that the story did warrant it, that they kind of cracked it, and it was an aha moment. Mm-hmm. I'm paraphrasing. There's a great dot uh, com article up right now on Collider. Hmm. Uh, long quote where she says, yeah, it's not a gimmick, basically. It is it is needed for the story, so I'm interested to see what that means. Do you think Zeus? Yeah, I, something like that. I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's tied to the villain. Maybe I was going to say, to... uh, Pedro Pascal, mm-hmm. uh, who's uh, Maxwell Lord, I believe. Yeah. Um, he looked, I didn't even recognize him at Did first, by either. the way. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah he... well, he's been hiding in that mask. Maniacal AF. The, the, the wig and, and, or whatever that was. That yeah. Mandalorian helmet just been hiding him away. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited that's, for that's a, a new Maxwell Lord iteration because the, the Supergirl one was gone too fr- soon and not, also yeah. didn't fully work. Mm-mm. So both things. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Uh, well, just you know that they when they tell the TV shows, like, actually, we're going to take our characters for the movie. And so they tell weird stories to try to wrap things up. And then right. they're just gone. Wow. It's happened with Amanda Waller. It happened with Deadshot yeah. and Deathstroke. Mm-hmm. It didn't happen with The Flash. Unclear why. but Because you can't destroy an entire show just because you want to throw them in. Yeah. Which, That's by the way, one. really quick, the chat is asking about Crisis, if we're going to talk about it at all. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Any more thoughts on Wonder Woman? No. The trailer. We liked it. We all liked I, it. I really all liked it. it. Yeah, yeah, I great. really I liked it. I will say this. It's almost time to retire the eighties. All right. Almost time. I don't have a problem it's, with it's, that. It's, it's like, Are you getting sick of it? I'm, I'm time. starting to. I'm starting to. At the beginning of this trailer, I was like, here we go, because I just had this Stranger Things vibe again and right. I was like, but I, I know what's warranted with this. But I you... dug it, but I think it's time for Hollywood to stop. 90s time. Relying. Let's when go. you say that's 90s time, about. though, Captain Marvel touched that. And that's what I loved about it. Good I know soundtrack. a lot of people. Nine Inch Nails, nails baby. Definitely yeah. not the 80s in there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's talk a little crisis. Am I the only one who watched last night's Supergirl I crisis part I missed the first one? episode. I've just seen the trailer so far. Do yeah, you? I, I did okay. not watch it. But are you guys planning on watching yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Of course. Okay. So uh, then I will give a spoiler-free part one of Crisis Brief Review. It was totally good, but a lot of setup. Um, Mm, A lot of setup for things that I don't know are necessarily going to matter. What's challenging is no matter what we do to our characters, we know there's we're in a multiverse so we could just bring other versions of those characters into the multiverse so the stakes right now are incredibly high because if they don't do this then all of the worlds are gone but they're also very low because all I'm thinking to myself is like we've got 10,000 more of those on backlog so I thought it was good it was definitely a solid first crisis episode Really fun stuff at the beginning where we see some of the different Earths and we have some cameos of some of the mm-hmm. other shows going on, which is cool. 
Uh, Does it make you want to keep watching for sure? Yeah, because I've like, watched eight years of this but I was dude. Gonna say, sure. But if yeah, not, yeah, yeah, though, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm the audience right. for this thing. So is it gonna reach end game proportions? You think by the time this is over? It, uh, the way that this, the way that this episode went, I feel like they're really gonna try to okay. do that. Okay. We've got three of them, so then we've got one Monday night and Tuesday night, so that will be the first three, and then we don't come back until January 14th, the last two. So I think by episode three on Tuesday, we'll be doing Infinity War, Mm -hmm. and by January, we'll be at Endgame. That's the only thing that I hate is that they're breaking this up so hard. Mm -hmm. I would have preferred for them to just, like, let's end 2019, like, on a bang and get through this whole thing. Versus like putting me on a cliffhanger, making me wait through Christmas and New Year's, and like you know have to wait for the end of it. But especially because they don't put, they don't then they only allow like five episodes at a time for their shows on like the CW app or Hulu or whatever. So like if yeah, I need to backlogs. play catch up, I can't. That that sucks too. So is there someone that you guys just not just because they are perfectly casted for the role or whatever? It's like is, is there somebody that you're like this is the character that I care about in this series and that's why I'm watching. Uh, of the cameos or just in general? In general. Uh, in general. <sighs> you mean not across any of the shows? Mm-hmm. I mean. For I'm, this particular series, yeah. I'm for like, yeah, Supergirl or for any of the CW? Or any of the CW. Yeah. Yeah, I care about a lot of them. Mm-hmm. I, I think Jefferson Pierce is great. It was he's really your favorite? Well I, I yeah. love him so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he's Chris just Williams. excellent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's so phenomenal. great. I also interviewed him at Comic-Con once and he is legitimately a foot and a half taller than me. Yeah. Uh, He's so tall you're like as hell. This. Ho- n- I, we had to put me on top. I have n- Apple box? No. Apple on top? Me, there was no Apple box. We had to put me on top of <laughs> like, <laughs> camera kit upright. <laughs> I have a picture of it. It's so, nice. And I'm still nice. uh, an entire head shorter than wow. he is. He's so tall and just an awesome person. That whole cast was amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah. China's awesome too. They're, okay, cool. they're all great. But I think that I care about Barry Allen a lot. Mm-hmm. I care about Kara a lot. I care about all of the le- Oliver. They did a great job casting these leads. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. yeah, I do. Cool. I'm most excited about seeing Kevin Conroy. He's been my yes. favorite Batman the yes. entirety of always. So I'm very excited to see him come in and do that's his thing. That's literally why I'm watching. Yeah, I'm excited yeah that's about the only reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about that too. My one concern with that is the only person who kind of seems out of place in the crossover right now is Kate Kane, Ruby mm-hmm. Rose sure. as Batwoman. And I think yes. Kevin Conroy stuff is with her. Oh, yeah. God uh, damn based it. Based on the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Winston's so upset about yeah. it. That, that woman is not a good show. I'm sorry. I mean, I, other people I might can't. feel differently. I like I, it fine. Yeah. I just, I, you know you what like it is? It's fine. fine. I like it it's better fine. than Supergirl right now. Oh. Yeah. I, well, that's mm-hmm. fair. I, I think the only thing, to be honest with you, is I don't necessarily have a problem with what the show wants to do. I just don't like Ruby Rose as the character I did with the crossover last year and then this just doesn't fit right for me yeah I feel uh, that what are the people too, I do I do agree with that what are the people in the chat saying I know they wanted to talk about crisis how did they feel about part one of the episode or? Uh, somebody said uh, Black Light and Chris Williams is that dude that's true uh, mm-hmm. I have a bad feeling Tom Welling role will be disappointing mm-hmm. um, I could see that there was a lot of uh, Tyler Hecklin last night Superman Tyler Hecklin mm-hmm. Batwoman very weak so yeah, they're all they're all mostly agreeing with you guys. <laughs> I did not. What was wild is we've been waiting eight years for this moment, right. and last night online, it was b- trending way above. This was Watchmen. Uh, there was a, a lot of things people were talking I about. I literally forgot this. this started this weekend. Yeah, which is it's like it was it was a lot of hurry up and wait. So I feel like people have been talking about this for so long, but then nobody was watching it last night. Mm-hmm. In fact, I live streamed through it. Ah, yeah. I, yeah, do a, I, I do a live stream on my youtube.com slash Roxy Stryer. Yeah, Saul's and your biggest fan, yeah. Plug! If, and, and I am the biggest CWDC fan that I know, mm-hmm. and Crisis was on, and I was live streaming. There you go. And I was off in time for Watchmen. Damn. Yeah. So there's... That's but that's because you got to keep your priorities straight. That's so true. Like, yeah, I mean, that's the same thing I would do. If you can only watch one, then you're going to watch Watchmen. And also, that's what I would do. Watchmen same. is amazing. Mm-hmm. I agree, but and also fuck Watchmen and fuck when they see us. Yeah. damn nomination. Exactly. Yo, Mark, hmm. talk about other news. What else we got today? <laughs> um, yeah. Can we talk about the sad news? 
Yeah. 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 Let's, well, let's while just... we're on things that make us upset. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Juice World, we should. Man. Because this is part of my childhood. Uh, the Sesame Street, but uh, Carol Spin- Spinney, is that Carol Spinney, yeah. yeah. Is the beloved voice of Big Bird and uh, Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, he passed away, and it's, you know, that's the, that's the hard thing when one of your childhood, like, it's Big Bird. I, I had Big Bird on my wall. I had also got the Grouch on my closet. I'd like this is this is the actor that like really did something special that everybody knows now. So he's passed away. And um, thoughts on that, Tarina? Yeah, I, know I you mean, really want to talk about it. Obviously, I mean, look, Sesame Street. I used to watch it in English and in Spanish when I was a kid. Uh, it helped me learn English. I totally loved the Count. He was my jam. The Count. <laughs> yeah. The Count was my favorite. Yeah. yeah. But, and two. Three. Three. Ah, ah, ah. And uh, obviously, uh, you know, it's. I think it's really cool that what just what did what did I just miss? No, <laughs> no, just, no you I was, just, you and just me. my little my little. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it genuinely just it gave me a little a little mini giggle. Oh. That's that's all that was. Is that you how nothing. you laugh? A little mini <laughs> giggle. It just depends. Yeah, but that Look, that's a, that's Carol's a, making us laugh even I from know. the grave. Oh. That's but that's I'm the sure thing that's so do. cool. Look, no, no, but if anybody can live that oh long, that's great. Oh my God! I'm dressed like Big Bird today. You kind of have There's his hair tribute. too. <laughs> I did. I did. I got his. You're little, a little more mustardy yeah. than, than than yellow. Than yeah. yeah, that's fine. This is what we're more Ernie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but he was also Oscar the Grouch because obviously somebody I related to. But how cool is it that he spent his life making kids happy, making mm-hmm. people happy, being a positive influence on kids? Sesame Street is still awesome to this day. So, so yeah. thank you to Carol and to anybody. Basically, at that's j- related to Jim Henson and and because those those if the Muppets or the, or the Sesame Street puppets didn't exist, I feel like I would be more of an asshole. Mm. They did write the Sesame Street was tweeting really beautiful things about him yesterday as yeah. well. Um, and but he wasn't the only person we lost yesterday. I'm sure there was uh, a lot more. But Renee um, mm-hmm. from Star Trek Deep, Deep Space Nine right. uh, also passed away yesterday, and I was going through his. His massive, massive IMDb, um, which has 228 actor credits, which like I can't even Jeez. imagine being on set. For, and and many of them were like 74 episodes of this and yeah. 100 episodes, like so that's so dream. many. Yeah, to that's be a working really the, actor to that extent. That's the dream. Um, I'm blanking on his last name right now. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, you guys can help me. But he was very, very talented, and um, and he played an iconic. Character. Oh, that's why I'm blanking on it because I don't know how to pronounce it. Aber Abergenois. I don't know. Yeah, he, but a bit of a bit of noise. really, yeah. really very talented character actor and uh, VO actor as well. Mm-hmm. So while we're thinking about crying, I just figured I'd add more people that yeah. have passed away. I to appreciate the, yes, the crying course. Train. No, and and Benson, man, he's yeah. a cl- yeah, icon- Benson. iconic character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what no, you I was say, just Benson? gonna say I appreciate that we have somebody that can pronounce everything in here. You know, you got. Oh, I'm just reading stuff in Spanish. It doesn't mean that's no, 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 correct. no. But then he got, <laughs> but then he got. Uh, 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 I can't say it. Abu uh, uh, He said that right. I guess you know. And, I did. Yeah, yeah, you're also like talking it. to the guy who called Mark Maron. Mark Maroney. Yeah, yeah. It's very true. Yeah, I know. We, I, ha- I suffer from a JTE every once in a while now. Sure. As I get, we all have as the I get brain older. farts. That's yeah. fair. I have that for sure. Uh, other news, Mark. Anything else going on in the news? I'd today? like to talk about this. George Miller has confirmed that Mad Max Fury Road sequel is in fact Shut coming. Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. This happened <gasps> on Friday. I did want to tell, uh, yeah, mention this because I know, Ooh. Darina, you wanted to. He said, I'm not done with the Mad Max story, and I think you have a multitasker that there's certainly another Mad Max coming down the pike. After this, he's, uh, he's... Is it the pike or pipe? He said pike. What is it? Pike. I thought it was P-I-K-E. Pipe. I thought things come down because the pipe. things like come down pipeline. the pipe like a pipe. Yeah. I thought it said pike. Yeah. No, he said pike. pike? That's the quote. Pike but... like, a fr- like a highway? I, I always like see a pike, pike? Is a, it's like a, a metal thing that goes down and, it, and the water rushes down. And Darina's like, actually a... get to the story that I want to no, talk No, no, I want to learn this because remember okay. English. Mm-hmm. Is uh, it down the pike or down the pipe? I can't read that far. Can the original it? phrase, down the pike, means in the course of events, or more recently, in the future. Mm. Pike here is short oh, for turnpike. turnpike. Uh, That's what I just said, turn, yeah. like the mass turnpike. Uh, and it has been mistaken as down the pipe. Wow. Oh. So, you said there you go. highway. You didn't say turnpike. You just said down the, down the highway. No, and then I said, like, the mass turnpike. Oh, well, I, well, well that should probably be talking to the mic. I, I uh, just missed that last part. Hey, I, hey, Roxy. But I also thought it was pipe. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah that's was fine. Also, we're good, hey, we're Roxy. Ro- I, I'm what, right. What rhymes with pike? That like ha, ah, you got her. Like Woo! no, I, I can do oh, more. Oh shit! Um, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna go take ahead. a hike because oh, that's what I really like Whoa. to do 
with when I have on shoes and also that, um, that last kiss. <laughs> Advanced groundlings, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> continue. I know that this is actually probably very exciting news for I you. I am very excited. Uh, Mad Max, uh, f- which I sometimes call Furry Road, <laughs> which would be Fury Road because I'm reading it. <laughs> a Mad- that's the uh, point. Oh. That's the point. Yeah. Uh, that's Mad- a Mad- yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, watch? No, it's one of the. Of course, it's one of the. It's. In my top ten best of the decade. It was very good. Yeah, it's an amazing movie. Movie. Have you guys done your top ten of the decades yet? I'm no, I, I I'm done trying, that. but it's hard. It's really hard. Should we we should do it did for one of our, our yeah. last episodes of the year? Every single superhero movie of the decade or something a couple episodes ago. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That no, was man, crazy. I was listening to it in the shower and I was like, Oh my god, they're really gonna go through every single one of these movies right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 That's what I was saying, yeah. man. Yeah. But yeah, you wanna know what I learned what I realized was not on there? The kitchen. Oh, that's right. You do like, <laughs> but well, it just was. They were going through every comic book movie of the decade, and mm-hmm. but you didn't like it, right? Movie. I did like it. Oh, you did? Okay. okay. Yeah, I did. But I, I, whether I liked it or not, right, it's, right. it is a it is a movie that exists. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. It's one of the two hundred that it's you watched. It's a movie. <laughs> it's definitely a movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think about how many I actually watched. Hmm. Probably not two hundred. Probably. Closer to a hundred. Hey, Rod, still a lot. What? Guess who's coming in in a little bit? I know, but they they're running a little behind. Running behind. behind. Yeah. Running behind yeah. yeah. So okay. I'm vamping a little bit. Okay. I'm doing Should a little we open vamp. up the phone lines then? Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's take a phone call before we have uh, Justin Long in studio because Smart. traffic is a bit. That's bad. Let's take a call. That's pretty bad. I agree with everything Darina just said, uh, but Justin Long do will still be coming. Do you want me to ask for you? Dan Schechter as well. When they call. I do want you Can to. Can you I meow? But I don't want you to ask me if I want that. I just wow. want you to know that intrinsically. There's there's a video going around where there's this dude. He comes out. He goes, hey, man, why you got a purse? Hey, ain't no purse, motherfucker. I got this Patron in this motherfucker. Get out here. Get your back. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> and like, <laughs> and the, the caption was like, I have yet to hear a single person hit that noise that comes out of his mouth perfectly, but I practiced all weekend. Right. So that's my new impression is that tiger growl for whatever reason. <laughs> that's a pretty good it's, one. It's damn you could good, be like yeah. you could do commercials as Tony the Tiger. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. In that, all seriousness, yeah. in prepping for the Justin Long interview, I've learned some of his impressions. Holy shit, oh, that really? guy can impersonate Kenny. Me. Kenny? Yeah, but like not real people. Like he makes up characters on the spot that are wild child. So that doesn't sound like an impression. But, that sounds like no, a, but because it will be voice. like what you just said. Like yeah. an, he'll be like all doing an impression of an older person. Like not a specific, oh, oh, but oh, okay, like okay, okay, okay. You get what I'm okay, saying? Okay, yeah. sure. Now I understand. I was like, what? Then he's not impersonating no, he, anybody. He's, he's not like I'm being Bill Murray. He'll yeah, be yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm being an old white dude. Okay, <laughs> word, Speaking of word. impressions, Roxy, the other day you were trying to teach me how to do a British accent, and can you do it again? Because it was really good. I was actually quite oh. quite. I feel like she's setting me up for failure. No. Quite impressed. What did you say? Oh, Prop- absolutely. The Queen's English, where you have to actually pronounce every single syllable. I think that's what a Queen's English is. Properly? Properly that- pronounce. Properly? Properly? Can you guys pronounce. do it? You sound like you're from London. Yeah, you sound like you're from no. London. That's just Fuck you. <laughs> it's an illusion. Fuck you. Uh, call I mean, me. Anybody calling in for us? Blah, blah, yeah. Blah, 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 Let's take this call. Caller. Mm, you're on hey, Clive Live. Hi. Right. Cool. What's up, Josh? What do you got for hey, us today? The answer is no. <laughs> I want to know have you guys seen Honey Boy? Not I, yet. Honey Boy yet? Josh, I, good question. I have not. I keep hearing I that I should watch it. I did not. You guys, you guys need to watch Honey Boy. The movie yeah. is incredible. Um, I'm so sad. Shia Love is getting snubbed at every award show right now, and I'm really sad yeah. about it. I think he is a, and I don't mean this meanly to him because I don't know him, he seems to be a hard horse to back sometimes. Uh, Hollywood, oh, sure. Hollywood's been burned by him a couple of times, I think, but he's ridiculously talented. Mm-hmm. So if things were just based on talent alone, I think he would get a little more love. Alex, I know I keep asking you this throughout the show, but I feel like you actually did see this one. I did see it. Okay. And um, the, the boy... Um, Shoot, I forgot his name. But he was also in A Quiet Place and Ford v. Ferrari. He's also really good in it. Mm. Uh, the guy who plays uh, the um, Shia LaBeouf stand-in. Okay. Okay, word. Uh, the kid, yes. Mm. Word, um, word. Is it on your top of the year, Alex? It is not on my top, but it is in my top category. Best of the best of the year. Okay. You have categories? Yeah. I have categories. <laughs> Uh, Cody, I love haven't that. seen my spreadsheet yet. Josh, you thank you so that. much for calling in. Alex, thank you so much for having categories. Let's take uh, another call if we have one. Caller, you on Collide Alive? What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Hold up, this is easy from Seattle. Easy, easy from Seattle. Seattle's yeah, my going, favorite place easy. on the planet. What's yes. going on? What do you got for us? Uh, so I've been watching The Flash for a minute, right? That's kind of like a guilty pleasure. Like, yeah. I know they watch it with me, but... I don't need to, yes. If, if you could direct an episode of The Flash, like, and use, like... I mean, he got a black dad and, a, like, a black wife. Like, I don't know why they never used that. They so they they did. I what's up? Like, you know? No, I, I what's up, man? It's Winston. How you doing, bro? That's it, bro. I, 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 no, no, I I agree with you. They 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 cover it every now and again, but they try and they try and just kind of wipe it over. I agree with you. I think the thing that I hate they, the they most is they try to wipe over what the fact that the fact that they're black. They don't. They don't. But I but I think, Iris and Joe and they, okay. they. I think that was the whole thing. That's why I was kind of pissed that they found a way to write out Kid Flash. I, I think that that was also to, to waste Wally like that. I thought it was a huge wasted opportunity. But I think the I think main he, reason that was the actor. It was part of it. I know that he wasn't getting along with Grant Gustin. Had a lot to do with it. There yeah. was there was, so there was some stuff there. Was but it I, Keenan Lonsdale is that yes is yes, yes 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 yes. Uh, but but I think the other thing, man, is because a lot of times networks like that, they're like, well, you know what, Black Lightning's handling black issues, so we're just gonna stick to our stories for Flash. So it, it's it's unfortunate, but I think that that's kind of what's going on there, man. Shit. Yeah. Hey, one more. I heard y'all talk about the vaping. I'm vaping right now, so I'm kind of like, I don't know. I feel the same way, man. I'm not gonna stop, but also I'm curious about it, bro. bro, I'm telling you, just just treat it like four loco. Just don't don't do like don't overdo it. The what the equivalent was what five four locos a day. Don't like hit your pen every like two minutes. Like you know, give yourself a little bit of time to breathe oxygen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in general, anything you put in your lungs, right? Yeah. (laughs) It doesn't. (laughs) <laughs> it's breathe. Yeah, yeah. Also, breathe oxygen is Winston's recommendation to you. Excuse me, doctor. What's your rec? Uh, uh, that I could tell, brother. You black, ain't you? Oh, you already know. Come on now. That's that's my rec. I don't because get what you get. It's a spider sense. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I just know when I'm speaking to Miles Morales and not Peter Parker. All right, it's just it is what the fuck it is. <laughs> Uh, I missed having you here, Winston. I missed you too. You rock. Thank you so much for calling in. Let's take another call before we go to our break. Uh, Given our all right caller, you you are quite alive. Put your name where you're calling from. Hey, it's uh, Ben from Virginia Beach. Hey, Ben. Ben, Ben, what's going on, man? What do you got for us? Hey, so I just got a, a an overall question for Winston. Actually, what's good? Cool. So, like, my question is, so, I'm black myself, so, like, with a lot of, like, the unique things that are going on in Hollywood, Mm. I find that there's a kind of a a calm, I'm not really surprised, Mm. within our community of brown people, Mm -hmm. but I notice with some of the folks who don't look like me, there's, like, a lot of shock and and stress, and I find myself having to comfort them. Mm. So, with you being a, a, a professional... How do you handle that? Uh, shock, shock in what regard? What, what are you talking about with what's going on with like nominations? Are you talking about with the election? What do you mean? Kind of like uh, the different injustices, the different sure. like biases, and like we are already like, oh, yeah, of course, we just got to go through it. But for folks who aren't really aware of it, mm-hmm. it's kind of like a wow, I can't believe it's happening. Right, and there can be like kind of a rage. So sometimes I'm like, I want to comfort you, but also this is happening to me. Sure. So sometimes I feel like. So how have you navigated that uh, being in the industry? That's a good question. Uh, I think the biggest way that I did it is a while ago I had a show that I made called Positive Black People News. And it literally the point of it was to do like positive news stories about black people. And the main reason was is I, I genuinely got broke when Flando Castillo got killed. That was the one that got me because mm-hmm. my parents were always like, just comply with the cops and come home and we'll deal with the repercussions later. And to hear yeah, someone yeah. do everything he's supposed to do and still get shot for it, like really broken yeah. so i think the big thing is is when i have the emotional bandwidth to teach non-black people about what's going on i do and when i don't yeah. i make it very clear like look i don't have time for that right now like i have to take care of my own well-being and it's as simple as that i think is that you find the balance of when it's important to do that and when you need to take care of yourself that kind of like the whole oxygen mask on a plane you got to make sure you're breathing first before you try and help mm-hmm. anybody else so great advice Winston. that's freaking dope Thank thanks you. fam yeah right. no worries, what a great girl. call 
Thank no you worries. for calling in. Really oh. appreciate that. Uh, we've been all over the map today. Yeah. <laughs> it's been quite the Monday morning, guys. It's just it's emotionally exhausting. Monday. Yeah. All right, one more call just, before we go to commercial. One more call, Cody. One more call. You could be giving some worldly advice the day before you I get a year older. feel good about yourself, older. Big before Bird, get, right before now? Before I get a year older. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is my two step right here. Caller, this. you're on Collider Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is uh, Trevor from Nova Scotia in Canada. Wow. Hey, Trevor. Hey, Trevor. Thanks for calling. What do you oh, got maybe for us he's today? Canadian. I don't know. Mm. Um, well, you, I, di- I didn't necessarily want to bring the mood down, but uh, I know you guys brought up a couple of big names that passed away recently. Uh, there was another one that passed away uh, just recently, uh, Michael Lamper, the uh, husband of Marina Sirtis from... Star Trek Next Generation. Oh. oh, that's right. I heard about that, yeah. A lot of people died this weekend. Damn. I it's December. That's when that it is. happens. Wow. Cody, can you pull it up? That's supposed to be time for Jesus and my birthday and what the hell? It's because the people need to die so Jesus gets born. Oh, that's how it works. That's, that's wow. That works. Yikes. No. That's not what Jesus <laughs> think, man. <laughs> a, all right, Lady Death. That's that's Jesus. A, uh, <laughs> I didn't know it was a sacrifice for uh, uh, is there, our Lord Jesus. Is there it? something, uh, Trevor, <laughs> Trevor, did you want to say something about him or did you just want to bring that up? Uh, kind of just wanted to bring it up, but I mean, they met on an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, oh. so I just thought that that was kind of a, an interesting fact. I mean, uh, Marina tweeted about it uh, this morning, so. Yeah, Aww. thank you for calling thank in. We you. really appreciate that. Also, yeah. Juice World died. Is no, that... I said it like five times. Oh, Nobody you did died. already? Did. Yeah. Also, oh. Juice what? Juice I didn't, World. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't I, hear you. You think okay. Juice okay. or Juice? How... Juice. Oh, oh, I have a problem with the... <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I missed all that. What happened? No, I have a problem with the, the J sometimes. That's fine. Yeah. No, it was you, were saying, you were saying Juice World. It, yeah, because then I'll be great. like, instead of job, I'll be like, yab. I got a yab, a yeah. yab at a hut. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Who has a yab? I have a yab. What did? Why did I'm he die? What happened? Uh, he long. had he had a he had a seizure, but it sounds like, as I would have guessed, an OD. Like he apparently took a whole bunch of pills prior to the seizure happening. Oh god. Not, not like not not like right away, but it was just he. The thing that I don't like is that they found like seventy pounds of weed on like his personage. Oh Jesus! And, and I was like, gonna... and I was like, bro. God damn. Well, at least he wasn't vaping. <laughs> Guys, Justin Long, Dan Schecht are coming in right now after this break. We're talking after class and a whole lot more. Thank you so much to Winston for coming in today. Where yeah, can everybody Winston. keep up with you? Uh, at the Swaggy Blur, T H E S W A G G Y B L E R D, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. I'm over at SEN Live uh, a couple days a week. And, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll be on uh, Sports Time today. So if you're around at one, definitely check that out. Awesome. Thank Thanks you again, for being Winston. here. We'll see you guys soon. John Roga.
What a twist! What a twist! He is still working on his spoonsmanship. Sit down! Sit down! Sit down! Sit down! God damn it, shut the no, fuck hey, up! You're Beat that ass. And I'm gonna beat that ass. And I'm gonna beat that ass. And I'm gonna beat that ass. I want some candy ass! I want some candy ass! And I want your ass. And I want it now. We are back with Collider Live. You guys are hearing us talk donuts, which is not what we're talking today, but equally as important. Shout guys, out to SK Donuts. Wow. SKT. They need know. to clip that out <laughs> and make a lot of money off that. Justin Long and Dan Schechter in the hey. house. Yeah. Welcome. Talking after class, a movie that Darina and I watched and absolutely adored. Oh, this awesome. movie is freaking awesome. Awesome. It's Thanks. so good. Thanks. So much. Such an amazing job with it. And I couldn't believe when I was listening to you guys talk about it a little bit how quickly you shot this in 16 days and for how little money you guys shot it for. Also, you guys being connected by Doug Benson. How does this whole oh. movie come to be? Done your homework. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> yeah. She researches everything. <laughs> uh, so the movie's like obviously a quasi autobiographical thing. It, some of it's fiction, but there's a lot of it that was based on. My experiences, first and foremost as a teacher uh, in and around New York City, experiencing sort of a cancel culture, not through Twitter, but in real life, uh, seeing um, you know a student get triggered and how polarizing that became in that environment. Uh, and then also I had family stuff that seemed uh, to impact me. And so the movie sort of half a dysfunctional family comedy and half sort of a culturally relevant uh, post-Me Too kind of examination of what uh, what... I don't know how we as white guys can grow and be part of the conversation and how we feel in this particular moment. I guess. So that's why you wanted to write it. That's why you wanted to direct it. But then why did you feel connected to this and why did you want to be a part of it? I know you're close with your grandma. I am. Yeah. Um, I'm so sorry for eating, too, on your uh, <laughs> Never be sorry it's, for eating donuts. You should donuts be really sorry. It's just no, horrible. Uh, it's, it might look a little disrespectful. As, I'm fine. as somebody I, I, with his own podcast, you I should know, know this. You I know. know. <laughs> no, I like, uh, yeah, well, Billy, we just had Billy Crudup on, and he uh, and he was shoving, He had, he's like, I have this slice of pizza. I'm sorry, can we start afterwards? And I was like, no, no, eat it. I want it, because it's interesting to hear how somebody would um, 
masticate this food. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> people want to know what you sound like, but donuts in your mouth. Yeah. Also, yeah. we're all human. We're all hungry. Yeah, so. no, I know we're coming True. from... Uh, Act. With acting, it's helpful. If an actor's ever not being great, if you give them something to eat, somehow they always sound funny or seem natural, but yeah, it doesn't work on radio. I don't well, that's... Think. Yeah, well, I have low blood sugar, too, so this, <laughs> this is now going to go a lot better because I have a little bit of uh, thank you for um, indulging that. Uh, and that donut was so good. I can't get over how good it I'm was. I'm going to have one after you. I didn't even get one. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but, yes, D- uh, Doug, Doug Benson um, texted me about it. That's how I first get, heard about uh, Dan's script, and he said – and right away, you know, Doug's somebody that I really – respect I, I value his opinion about movies and so when he kind of validated uh dan that that went a long way and so i was eager to read the script and i i just i loved it i loved the way the dialogue flowed and how natural it felt and um this I, it was a story that i felt was really important and told in a uh in a in a very balanced n- nuanced way which is difficult with subject matter yeah. like this and um i think really necessary with subject matter like this so um yeah it w- i was i was flattered that dan wanted me to do it yeah and i mean i was telling roxy before uh the interview today that uh the reason i love the movie is that i find it hard to especially now in 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 the age where we kind of all you know have a sort of like you know, one one minute attention span. <laughs> yeah. That these types of movies, when it's they're conversational, right? It's just it's a very intimate movie with you know the teacher in the classroom and with his family. And the writing was so good; it was funny nice. constantly. Like I, I was very impressed with that. And at the same time, I also read some reviews, and a lot of them. Somebody mentioned it was basically about the perils of political correctness. So I think that's an interesting thing that you guys did so well. How, how, how did you manage to do that? Because to me, it's very hard to, even when I say the words cancel culture or woke, it's like that triggers people, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, playing with fire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's difficult to talk about it in, in a nuanced way. And I think that's the, the way you have to talk about it is uh, to understand, to have empathy for all, all different perspectives. And I, th- I think that's what Dan's script did very well. We were real scared to premiere the movie. Well, we premiered at Tribeca in May, and we were almost like running drills of, oh, what if we get this question yeah. or that? Because we were just prepared for someone to be outraged. And now we've had 30 festivals under our belt. We're now starting to screen the movie for real because it's just, right now it's out on VOD and in theaters. And I don't know. We've been thrilled that I don't think we've gotten any pushback because the movie is not advocating for any side except that, hey, like, let's try to have some kind of nuanced conversation about what is obviously a tricky subject. And in this movie, this character that Justin plays, Josh, does something right at the beginning that is, in my opinion, just very borderline controversial. Mm -hmm. And it triggers a student. It upsets them. And then instead of having some kind of healthy chat about it, immediately everyone goes to their far corners. And Mm -hmm. it's a lot about how Justin, which is some version of myself, becomes very defensive and dismissive and not really very eager to validate somebody else's feelings. But also about how, you know, the other side isn't particularly looking at him as a human being Mm -hmm. either. Um, I'm so struck by this conversation because I think I've only discussed this movie with, like, men. Yeah, we were just talking about that, how <laughs> valuable it would be to talk about this with, uh, yeah, non That opening men. scene, as a non-white man, I will say <laughs> yeah. that I didn't blink at it. Wow. I, oh. I, I heard do. what happened, and I don't want to give it away for anybody who hasn't seen it, and you can and see it now on demand in select theaters, Thank but you. I didn't blink. I was like, what a good teacher. Really? Yeah. Huh. Same. Yeah. Really pulling it out. Yeah. Same. I was like, oh, I want to be in that classroom. Well, that yeah. seems like a good teacher. He's yeah. trying to get a story just for. He's trying yeah. to get a story out of uh, a student in the class, and, and yeah, the, something and that he, ha- he's encouraging her to talk about something that happened. And it's a little provocative, I guess, yeah. but not in a way that I felt crossed the line huh. or is alone in a room with somebody. Yeah. You know, that's interesting. I felt like it was a very safe space. Going to ask you guys a question about that huh. title <laughs> in a second, yeah. anyway, uh, to have that conversation. Yeah. So then. When the movie progresses, I was like, wow, I, this is how this happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is how it happens. Where do you guys lie on that opening scene? Uh, do you have an opinion on it? Oh, I'm curious what you have to say. Um, I'm, I had a similar feeling as you did, I think, that it was not – I've also been – I come from a family that we encourage – we we provoke one another and we encourage uh, f- stories, funny fun stories to be told and shared, and even if they have uh, a, a bit of a scandalous element to them. So I think, and I just grew up loving movies like that and, and literature like that. So that maybe is a li- pushes the envelope a, a little bit. So I, but I also understand. I think the way Dan shot it. Um, it's funny. Not, no, I I could see how that may be triggering. I, I I'm also now trying to have m- more empathy for 
people who are triggered by things that I wouldn't find triggering. Now because of the movie or now um, because of the times? I think just the time. I think the times did that more than the movie. I yeah. mean, I think uh, we've been talking about this a lot and, and, and what, um, what a necessary you know, monumental movement it's been uh, and how we've all been affected by it. And, and I think the effect that it's had on me is to consider other people's feelings a little bit more and to have a little bit more empathy for people's histories. And, and as a straight white male, I, I cannot relate to a marginalized people. I, can't, I don't know what it's like to be underprivileged. I don't know what it's like to be, you know, f- fearful walking home in the dark. You know, I, I just haven't had that experience. So I think it, it, we, we have to be a little bit more conscientious of others' experiences. I I did not do what the character does in the movie, mm-hmm. uh, but I could have easily done what he did. Mm-hmm. I was a very inexperienced, over-enthusiastic teacher. He's trying to get uh, this young woman to kind of open up and reveal something personal because he's sort of like, hey, like we're all adults here. Mm-hmm. Let's remove the taboo of sex in this classroom. But I think now with the gift of experience, I'm a big guy. I'm kind of intense. She's a young woman. I don't know what her personal experiences are outside the classroom. Mm-hmm. So I kind of oscillate back and forth. I really tried to choose something that was right on the line. And I think half the people who watch that opening scene almost have a tough time like trying to start to like Justin because they've been a bit put off. And half the people are like, That's Have you gotten cool that feedback? Oh, oh, totally. Yeah. Half I'll, and half, I would fr- say. From an yeah. interviewer, in fact. Uh, we were in Boston from a very uh, – I would say she seemed very reasonable and was just very honest about how she didn't like my character. That's interesting. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Rick. They say you're not supposed to uh, judge your character, right? right. When you're mm-hmm. learning to when, in acting classes, like acting 101. Yeah. You're not supposed to judge if you're a villain or not. You're just supposed to live its truth. Totally. So when you took this on, did, did that come into your mind in any way? Um, n- no, I think because I was aware of just wanting to be as you know open and play the intention and uh no, in fact if anything you're supposed to like your you're supposed yeah. to identify with yeah. the character and um i've heard i was again talking to billy crudup about this crudup was talking about a character that he's now playing on apple this apple tv show uh was the, the jennifer aniston show morning the morning, morning show, show. Yeah. and um it's just got all the noms at the golden Globes. oh yeah mm-hmm. yeah oh uh that's cool that's okay i really loved that first episode and, and the way billy was playing this character was um, just very sort of matter of fact. I mean, he's present. He's saying some. I, I don't know if you have you seen the first episode. No, uh, I have not seen uh, it. Yet. Oh, okay. Well, I won't give it away. <laughs> but it was just uh, <laughs> yes, having to identify um, with, with somebody that that you're playing who's maybe doing some very unlikable things. And and so no, when I read it, I didn't feel. I didn't have a strong opinion either way about uh, who was right, who was wrong. It was just like, can I? play this part. It, it's okay. kind of a weirdly brave role for Justin to take because it could have looked yeah. pretty douchey mm-hmm. right now to be like, oh, here's sort of a white guy sort of trapped in the middle here trying to grow, trying to catch up. But we didn't want to make it a movie about pitying somebody in that position because I don't think that would ever have been a really good look mm-hmm. right now. And we were hyper aware of that too. But Justin, to his credit, never was like, I don't know if this is likable, but I should do it. He just fully did every scene. And then in editing, we managed to find ways to to challenge the audience with the likability of that character, but also because it's Justin and his 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 brand as being a pretty likable person, it was it was a useful tool for us. Well, there's a scene that you were contemplating cutting out. I think I think um, that uh, that it did scare me a little bit. The prospect of it not being in the movie was uh, when he gets confronted by the two white kids. The, mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, and they ask him to join the Facebook page, and um, <laughs> I felt that was important just to, you know, because they were so extreme, and yeah. you were not trying to make that kind of mark, right? And to establish that as a boundary for where this character was willing to tread, and yeah. uh, what he was, ho- you know, going out of his way then to avoid he and the slippery slope that he w- is on. That kind of thinking is is potent- could, can lead to, um, yeah, a you chat room that's for you know. You see it in culture all the time. I can't tell you how many white guys on the sly, you know, when I would uh, interview crew members, it was the first time I would really have long chats with people about the script. And a lot of white guys would kind of say so to Voce, like, I'm glad you're giving it to these goddamn kids. You know, they, oh. they, it was a Rorschach test, the script, oh. and they, they failed. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, or, or they, they thought you were making a statement that's mm. different than what you were actually Look, trying to Look, it's just so not fun to have white male be a pejorative and read it every day on Twitter, and I'm on Twitter all the time. Right. And I understand why that is, but... It, I think the movie's trying to show at the beginning that's not going to be the way you can make a teachable moment with somebody who is winnable, like Mm -hmm. this character, that you could penetrate if you, frankly, take a little more effort to articulate your experience as opposed to throwing a Mm -hmm. rock at that person. And and that's asking a lot of someone who's experienced trauma and who's frustrated and who's, I think, 
in those years, we all became hyper aware of it, not just white guys who were aware of other people, but people became, every culture became very aware of their own anger, Black Lives Matter, and these things that were fueling my students in such an exciting way. And they all wanted to be activists. To their credit, they weren't just trying to be jerks. They wanted to mirror what they were seeing on television. They mm -hmm. wanted to be an activist. Mm -hmm. and, and just like I was sort of experimenting with teaching and failing, I think sometimes they weren't always advocating for their positions in the best way. What you're talking about is uh, slightly political and just a little off topic, but I do want to ask, because you took off your jacket <laughs> and you are wearing a, oh, a yeah. Bernie shirt. Yeah. Is that your is that your dude? It's my dude. Uh, my person. I love him. Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, he's somebody who is, has walked the walk and, you know, for years. I mean, his convictions have been time tested and I, I just really admire him. I, I, he's really inspiring to hear speak and um yeah i, also I voted for him in the the primaries last time yeah as did i so there you go yeah going back to the movie though fran drescher i had no good segue so no. fran drescher. <laughs> hey, i can see those two hanging out yeah. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> great. Yeah. and i would like to be in that room oh, very yeah, badly me too. how does she get involved in this project and also what i know this is a basic question but what does she like to work with i think people have wondered that for so long we're kind of obsessed with <laughs> yeah. yeah oh my god One day. <laughs> she's, uh, but she's i tell the you best. speaking of impressions i yeah. said you do impressions oh, on all amazing. these shows on uh, unprompted uh, yeah. impressions and it's so great totally unsolicited I love it. Uh, you know, shut up about. Um, <laughs> yeah. One day I got a text. Good thing we gave him a donut from yeah. my mom. Oh, I know. I got a text from my mom one day, and it just said Fran Drescher, and I didn't know what the context was, but she was pitching her as a version of herself in the movie because she knew I was making something vaguely based on our family. And my mom was the same age, grew up in Queens. They have a similar energy, and to me, it was like. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's like Ray Romano when he does like a Scorsese thing. It's fun to take an actor like that and then get the new thing that they do. And then, because I loved her in Spinal Tap and we had seen her do things like that. And then she came in and there's still the special thing you love about Fran, but then there's the added energy of like, oh, I've never seen her be that natural, that what what she is in real life in a movie before. And then yeah. Justin and her had a really nice rapport as well. Oh man, we really hit it off. I mean, right away. Uh, as I did with Kate Berlant, we got really lucky because I hadn't worked with either of them. Um, Kate played my sister in the movie, and uh, she's hysterical. She's so funny. She I mean, really I was good. a fan of hers going in. Her stuff with John Early is so good. Uh, but she's yeah. Right away, we just liked each other, and and Fran is such a warm, a surprisingly warm, yeah. accessible person. I I wasn't that familiar with uh, the nanny, but you know, of course, I knew who she was, mm -hmm. and I. She was always this kind of larger than life. Eh, I mean, that that <laughs> laugh is real too, by the way. All of that is. It's, she's not pushing it. Um, well, maybe she was pushing it a little bit on, on the nanny. I don't know. She just. I think so. Yes. I guess. Yeah. Um, but, but she uh, she made me egg salad when I went to her uh, apartment to talk about the script for the first time. It was the best fucking egg salad I've ever had. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Did you request egg salad, or that's what she just no, said? You want some of my egg salad? She was like a salad. Jewish mother the second I walked into the apartment, and she was immediately interested in feeding me and 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 being all sweet. organic stuff. She's really yeah, into healthy awesome. eating healthy living that's how she overcame it's what she attributes to having overcome cancer oh, wow. Uh, wow. she has this organization called cancer schmancer and it's all about you know uh just you cleaning eat. your body right. and, yeah you talk about being triggered a little bit and she does have quite a, a horrific history oh, um, yeah. in, in her past and i'm curious did yeah. you get her opinion on any parts of the movie that did have to do with um the that's a good anything question, like yeah. that also to plug justin's podcast they have a phenomenal conversation about her experience that i even learned more yeah. about, about life is short check it out yeah and it was so she, great and she even attributes uh, just to give one whatever spoiler of that interview she got cancer afterwards and she had this profound statement that she said on Justin's podcast which she wouldn't let anyone take care of her after she had this horrible sexual assault yeah. but when she had cancer she she had to have people take care of her and she almost felt that maybe the cancer could have been a byproduct of her suppressing the trauma that she had so it was f fascinating mm -hmm. of course when she read the script we had discussed that because I'm aware that I'm a guy and I wanted to hear that experience I wanted to make sure I was handling it sensitively it very very yeah. open and uh no, I, she was frankly more interested in her character, but I, I think she immediately felt that there was a sense. Of, it was after she saw the movie, I think, that that had more impact on her, and she was very complimentary about it. Uh, do you guys think that uh, it, because of our time and, and specifically what we're talking about right now, is it more difficult to make certain types of art? Do you think people are trying to not not even talk about it and not even have the conversation? Because that's what bothers me, because I think that there's nothing wrong with just talking about mm -hmm. it, right? And having a nuanced conversation. Yes. The, the problem then becomes because we live in this soundbite culture mm -hmm. and uh, that is pr promoted on, propagated on Twitter. And mm -hmm. um, it's difficult when, I, even now, just uh, talking about it is, you're subject to 
those sound bites being taken out of context or uh, used, weaponized in some way. So I agree with you. I, I, I think what is, I think the only way to really move the needle and, and, and achieve progress is to have these conversations. And I think that's what Dan's script did so well. He was pre- presented this thing in such a nuanced way and as, and as agenda-free way as you can. Um, but it's, diffi- it's difficult, you know, yeah. because of the culture, the, the of sound course, bites. Of course I agree with that. But to play devil's advocate, this movie is better because I was afraid to make it. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is I cared a lot more about every joke and I thought a lot harder about every joke and it was because I didn't want to offend somebody. But you've seen the movie. It has teeth. It's not, <laughs> like, sure. a, it's mm-hmm. not like a, oh, let's kiss everyone's ass and be a safe movie. People have come up to me and said, yo, that's brave to say, to which I interpret, I think a lot of these things and I would be afraid mm-hmm. to put in a movie. But because... I cared more about how people would receive the movie, and we wanted to stand behind it five years, 10 years, 20 years from now. We chased down the butt of every joke. And I think that kind of thoughtfulness is not a bad thing for art. So I think both sides of that are are true, but um, it's not a terrible thing that you care a bit more about what you tweet and what you say and who you might be upsetting Mm -hmm. and offending. And that's cool, too. You take an extra five Mm -hmm. seconds to figure that out. That's not the worst thing. You've done a really uh, interesting job your whole career, and I think an amazing job picking which roles that you are going to take. That's so nice. And I heard you talking on Malton on Movies. I'm a a close friend of Jesse's. Oh, yeah? And I love the Maltons. But I heard you talking about this wild blues clues story. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I don't you, know. That. Can you, know you tell, how. like, what happened there? Um, well, it was, th- this is before I had any sort of, lug- the, the luxury of being able to be at all choosy about, about acting. It was just the first professional offer I had was to, it was the way I got my agent, in fact, was uh, I had taken a semester off from school. Um, I wanted to work and parents were, we were having a hard time, you know, paying the bills and whatever. There's a financial situation. So I had to just work for a little bit. And, and um, it was very exciting. I would go in for, I was living in Poughkeepsie, but taking the train in for open, I would just go on open calls. Like they call them cattle calls. Mm. And I went in for one called, uh, for Blue's Clues, for the Nickelodeon show. And, you know, it's the first one you go in on. It's like, they, it's literally, you're being herded around. That's why they call them cattle because they're, they're kind of like, they're not, there's no respect or anything. They just kind of <laughs> herd you all. Okay, next. And it's that stereotypical thing. And then I ended up uh, going back in, and every time I go back in, they get progressively nicer, and <laughs> be, you know they would be slightly more respectful. And and then by the end, they offered me um, a, a holding deal to replace the current host, whose name was Steve, if you remember. Of course. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, sure. So I was going to replace Steve, but I think they were going through contract negotiations with him, and they just needed a backup. I didn't know this at the time. So it was the day before I was set to go back to school. Um, I got a call saying they offered me this part. It was like a dream call because I was delivering pizzas and had no money at the time. And they said they were going to give me $15,000 to do nothing for three months. And so I was like, that's, you know, that's that's more money than I had ever conceived of making. (laughs) And um, so I called up some of those agents that I had sent my, you know, Kmart headshot to (laughs) months later I'd never heard from. And and, and, uh, all the receptionists were like – Okay, send your picture and resume. And I go, oh, but, 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 but you know, it's, I, I actually just need help with the contract. And so as soon as they hear contract, they're like, oh, hold on. Let me get an agent on the phone. And, and that was how I got this agent. At, uh, they were called Innovative Artists. And once I had the agent, I didn't want to then sign the deal because I was so eager to go out uh, and not be held back for three months. And within those three months, um, I got an audition for this – pilot ed and then that turned into galaxy quest and from then on things just started rolling and i kept deferring my enrollment into school so i never went back to school after that i didn't finish school either yeah um but i was because of blues clues that i got the agent so can you can you do your best blues clues host right now well i just remember there being a lot of i you know somewhere (laughs) somewhere out there there's a uh there's a whole episode because they i did a screen test oh wow and it's all like obviously green screen and then you're talking to like i remember Everything was big, you know. It was like, "Hey, there's salt. Hey, salt and pepper. Uh, you know, <laughs> hey, blue, blue." It was a lot of like, "Hey, I mean, it must. It, it's probably the most embarrassing uh, thing. So if it is out there, I hope it never <laughs> surfaces. But I'd like to see it because I'm curious. Um, I don't remember how that guy sound, how Steve right. sounded. I just remember kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was yeah, yeah perfect. It was kind of like oh, a little animated, yeah. and um, yeah, yeah. I remember doing that. You ever think about the roles that you did turn down like that for and where your career would be now? 
Uh, there are a lot of moments like that, you think? Yeah, you know, I think more about the, when I do have moments where I dwell on that stuff, it's the, it's the parts I came really close to getting and didn't get. Those are the ones where I'm like, I wonder what that would have uh, Like done. what, can you talk about it? Uh, yeah, like like Zombieland, for example. Ooh. Like I remember being, um, and I love Jesse Eisenberg, and I think that worked out for a reason. I think it makes sense why I didn't get that. Um, but you know, I remember reading with with Woody Harrelson, and and mm. we were about the same height. People don't realize that Woody is not as tall as as they think. So I think that that was at least the excuse they gave me. I I think Jesse is better in that movie and does something in that movie that I am not as equipped to do. I think he's just uh, brilliant. Um, and and we're now friends, so I, I I hope that I think he knows that, and I hope that's not weird. Um, but I remember Woody Harrelson writing me a, a really lovely like meant a lot to me. He wrote me a letter about uh, when you didn't get the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was really sweet. And he did not have to do that. And it was really it meant a lot to me. Really, that's yeah. awesome. What did he? Do you remember what he said? Yeah, at all? just compliment. It was really complimentary. It was just trying to like oh. kind of let me down in a. It was, did not have to do that. Um, and I. I I can't quote it, but you know I have it here with me. Why don't I just no? I, uh, <laughs> it's just a donut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like the letter out there. Yeah. Well, we don't have you guys for much more time, but we did want to do one quick thing with you, Justin. I hope this is okay. Sure. Ten one-word answers from Ooh. Justin Long. It's gonna be tough. Ten one-word you answers. <laughs> you had a donut. You'll be fine. Okay. Here we go. No, my fear is because of the donut, it's going to be hard to just do one word. Oh, that's true. Uh, that's true. Well, fine. If, if you have a couple, okay. then we'll take it. Because you have a sugar rush. Just I, I, I'm, talk, I'm a talker. I'm, oh, okay. Yeah. Would you do a revival of Ed? Yes. Yeah. Easy. Would you rather be in a Marvel or Star Wars movie? Star Wars is two words, by the way. That's true. <laughs> he just says star. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a good question. I mean, I grew up on Star Wars, so okay. it would be star. <laughs> good job. Has comedy died? Died. Oh. God no! I think I've seen some one word funny... only. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Doing. I just you say discovered... it fast enough. God no! I just discovered Billy on the Street, uh, so I've been I've been binging that Billy Eichner show. It's so so good. great! He's a, a genius. Genius! Yeah, I, agree. I love it. Who is your favorite person to work with? You gotta say it. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh man, I can't. Uh, you know, I I love I, Alan Rickman. I learned so much. He was one of my. Fa- I just loved him as a person. Uh, I'd Don't try Alan. to cheat. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm not. You I'm, could see I'm, him. I'm, I'm zoning out. I'm, I can't read that far. Um, this, uh, but I, and I love Sam Rockwell. I, I love Sam. Nice. Yeah. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I got. I, I get this question a lot. You would be surprised. Like, what happened to one? Sorry, I'm, um, I'm, I'm very strict with rules okay, and okay. games. I say this I, all the time. You sit in the people. Don't okay. like you sit in the room. No, you play I like the game. It too. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Like, come on. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, if you could be on one TV show today, what would it be? Well, I was thinking about Gremlins. Uh, is Gremlins a Christmas yeah. movie? I would say yes. definitely yes. Yeah, It's my favorite Christmas movie. Oh, it is? Yeah. The yeah. only person to write his own questions. For sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I love it. If you could be on one TV show today. <laughs> That's today, currently on yeah. today. Um, C- Curb. Nice. Curb your wow, yeah. so good. What's the best Kevin Smith movie? Chasing Amy. Well done. Uh, I think. Whose real life boyfriend would you rather be, Britney Spears or Lindsay Lohan? Real life boyfriend. <laughs> Oof. You've played them both. I don't know. Wait, right I, now or right at now, other I, points right in your career? I don't know. I can't answer that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I don't even know how many I've asked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got two more. Which movie is funnier, accepted or waiting? It, 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 accepted, I, I, I think it's funny. I think so too. Who's the best Beatle? I love George. That's love why you played him. Because you were him. No, it has nothing to do with that, but it was a, a huge honor. Huge honor. Justin you, Long, Dan Schechter, hell thank yeah. You. Thank you, guys. Thanks for talking about the movie. Uh, are you kidding me? Of course. We really absolutely cool. loved After Class, uh, and it is available now on yeah. demand and also in select theaters, so go check it out. Thank you guys so much for joining us thank today. You. We really thank appreciate you. it. Fun, Darina, Mark Riley, Cody, Alex, everybody involved. Thanks, Winston, for coming in today. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning for Collider Live. Yes, Alex.